Oh, wow. What do we have here on this? Well, it's Sunday evening. Going to be Sunday evening for me. We have Eternal Arcade. Jeez, this is like the first one here for the first time in my life. Eternal Arcade. Eternal Arcade. Like I told you on Discord, that was like the most epic thing that you sent me. The Rice King. <laughs> I'm going, I'm doing good, you know. Um, you know, I, I'm, I've just been, you know, this whole day I woke up late. Um, you know, I'm just trying to prepare myself for, you know, when the, the, the work week which is not going to be long for me, unfortunately, but I'm trying, I was looking at other job prospects and whatnot. Yeah, you had to do it. <laughs> that that was the best thing. Uh, that, that really made me laugh. Look. Threat not the loss in any endeavor. To those who draw me, they shall prevail in my image. <laughs> That's literally the best thing in the world. Like, like I, I enjoyed that very much. How are you doing? How is your Sunday? All the way in the UK. I know it's like Sunday, like late night probably. I'm not totally sure. Or maybe it's just the evening. But how is your Sunday? Like, how, how's your Sunday going? Um, you know what? I've been, not so much jobs, but like training. I've been looking at like trades, right? Like, like maybe um welding maybe hvac which is like ac i've also been looking into um post-production because they offer free training here in new york and i know my way around a video editor so like i like um doing video editing so this tuesday i'm going to go to like this open house to find more information about that sort of training and let's see where, you know, where the dart lands, you know what I mean? Sunday has been good, thanks. Just got finished up with dinner and tidying up, just chilling now. That, well, you know what? I'm glad that you had a productive Sunday. And I'm glad that you're just winding down and you have yours truly on the damn PC, whatever. What did I get? All right. But thank you. Thank you. How, how's Evie? That's your girlfriend, right? Evie? Is that her? Like, like the Pokemon Evie? <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But how's your girlfriend? How's everybody? Always a good idea to have a trade under your belt. Yeah, I have... You know what? I, I graduated college a, a while ago, right? A long time ago. A decade ago. Graduated college. I got my degree. And it, it is what it is. So... <laughs> Like, I, I wasn't, I struggled, like, just to not, I didn't struggle academically, but I struggled, like, putting up with college because I hate classrooms. Graduated. Was under the perceived notion that, you know what, I just get a good paying job. Because, you know, I've I been told my whole life, hey, go to college, you get a good job, and then there you go. Well, that didn't happen. And I'm just like, you know what, fuck this shit. <laughs> So yeah, Evie is great. She made a really great dinner. We watched some TV. Now she's getting a little bit of work done before bed. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. And I'm glad that, you know what? I'm pretty sure that your girlfriend is very supportive in your endeavors. Like in the book of genealogy. <laughs> no, but um, I'm glad that she's very supportive in your endeavors. And you know what? I have no doubt in my mind that, you know, you will prevail. <laughs> No, <laughs> let me just stop it. No, but in all honesty, it's really good. And you know what? You you really bring something to the streaming table. So, yeah. She's a keen follower of genealogy. <laughs> uh, you know what? I would guess so. I hope, I hope so. Everybody needs to follow the, the holy book of genealogy. Praise Gene. Praise Gene. Yes. Praise Gene. Praise Gene. Yeah, like the cars, they, they say praise Gene. So today I'm going to be playing GoldenEye. Hopefully more people will join. But thank you kindly, good sir, 
for joining me in this magnificent night. Ah, shit, my ears, my fucking ears. Yeah, she's really supportive. She doesn't mind me sitting down three nights a week to do this, and I'm very grateful for it. I had an ex-girlfriend who encouraged me to stream two years ago when I was with her, almost three years ago. And um, she was encouraging, but the problem was every time after I streamed, I would always spend time with her, but then she'd get an attitude for some reason. And it was like another fight. So she was problematic like that, so. But it's, it's really good. It's really good, and I'm glad. I'm glad that you got that. Does she watch your, your streams? Like she knows about the Rice King and all that stuff? That'd be <laughs> really so funny. The Rice King. But that, that, that's something. You got something right there. Like I said, five, man. Oh, that's another Baron. No, she doesn't watch the stream. She used to when I first started. Ah, she used to. But she don't watch the stream. She's like, I got better things to do. Katana. No, I'm just joking. Let's start this shit up. Yeah, so Eternal. This is the year that you played this game for the first time. Well, I've been playing this game since I was a child. All right, this was like my 10th birthday present. So, she got much better things to do than watch this idiot. Ah, damn it. She's like, I, I live with you. I mean, if you guys live with each other, I don't know if you guys live with each other, but she's like, I spent a lot of time with you. I don't need to. I got Eternal Arcade at home. I don't need to. What the hell? Go down the stairs, dude. You missed every shot. You, you play like me on Counter-Strike. Because I'll be shooting at the guys and every shot just miss. Because I suck ass at <laughs> Counter-Strike. You never had an N64 as a kid. And you know what? You wouldn't be the first one, in all honesty, because my cousins, they had the PlayStation I had the Nintendo 64. And there was like more games that I wanted on the PlayStation. Like I was a fan of Resident Evil before I got to play a Resident Evil game. And then it came out on the Nintendo 64, Resident Evil 2, and then I got that. Still have it. I still have all my Nintendo 64 games. Yeah, we live together. She has Eternal 24-7. I'm doing her a favor. She get, she's getting a break from me. That's what's up. And you're doing something productive. And it's not like, you know what I mean? You work hard. You play hard. Like, you deserve to, to have that bit. You deserve that peace, bro. But there, it's really nice that she's supportive of you. Yeah, I had the PlayStation, you're saying. There was one kid from the street, up the street from me with the N64, but we never played it. Ah. I grew up playing the N64, but when I would go to my cousin's house, we, we played the PS1 as well. So I kind of grew up with it, but it wasn't mine. Like, he used to like play like Mega Man. I used to love playing Mega Man with him. And what other games he had. He had a lot of other cool games. Like, I know one of the games that you were going to play on your wild card Wednesday. I think it was the Bugs Bunny one. And the thing is, is that I have a little funny story about that game. Because a long time ago when I was a kid, when that game came out, my father bought that game for my cousins, right? And I remember we went to go visit them, but before we went to go visit them, we went to a Toys R Us. And then he went to go buy them that game. And I remember telling my father, I'm like, yo, but you rarely buy me games like that, man. You, you, you buy my cousin new games and I still got the Sega Genesis, man. What's going on? Right? So my father bought my cousin that Bugs Bunny game and my cousin played the fuck out of it. And he loved the shit out of it. 
Yeah, the PlayStation. Yeah. Like, and also, like, my sister, when when she was back in high school, she had a boyfriend who had the PlayStation 1, right? And she would, um, he would come over to the house and, uh, like, that's how I saw, like, Resident Evil 3. He beat it. And by then, I was a full-fledged fan of the game, but it, it was pretty cool to watch him play it. Like, one of my sister's ex-boyfriends from back in the day and shit. I got the PS2, that was my first official PlayStation. When the PS2 came out, like, two years after it came out, that's what I got. And I was happy when I got the PS2 because the first game on the PS2 I ever played was Grand Theft Auto 3. And that was at my other cousin's house. And I was like, yo, this game is amazing, I need this in my life, this is the game that I need to complete my life. And as a child, well, not as, I was like, how old was I? I was like... What you call it? I was 13 years old, so I was just entering my teens. So, like, at that age, I was still saying stuff about certain things. But that was the first PS2 game I played was, um, Grand Theft Auto 2, um, no, Grand Theft Auto 3. And, like, a month later, I got the PS2. I, and the only reason why I got the PS2 is because it's like I had to get good grades on my report card and then my mom was like well you know you have the Game Boy you have the Nintendo you have the Sega Genesis why do you want more games and I brought up the argument that the, the PS2 was also a DVD player so you could get DVDs for it and she was like oh really and I'm like yeah and that's why she got it. <laughs> hey, Ross, how, how you doing, Rouse? Sorry, I had to step away for a second. Oh, no problem, dude. How you doing, Ross? Eternal beat you to it, Ross. Damn. Eternal beat you to it. And you know what? I'm such a... I'm such an idiot. Because I bought this thing specifically so people could have fun. And I rarely put it. And it is kind of stupid that I forget about it. It should be a habit. So let me turn this on. Let me turn on your little avatars. Avatars. Oh, boy. And for some reason, this thing is like at the bottom. I don't know why. I, there's something strange sometimes going on with my shit, man. It's ridiculous sometimes. All right, there you go. There you go. I got the notification you went live, so I got the dishes done quick and I got to the PC. Yo, that's what's up. So you actually rushed over just to see little old May? Oh God, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that, that sure is very kind of you. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But you know what? I appreciate you doing that. Like, I've never had anybody rush over to... To, to 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 just watch me or spend some time with me except for an ex but you know that was a very long time ago so but i appreciate it i'm very flattered eternal you're <laughs> making me blush eternal what the fuck bro yo i shot that guy all the way to heaven all right i did all the missions there we go yeah, you did miss a lot yesterday, like, <laughs> like you, you missed a good amount. Oh, look at that, Pierce Brosnan in his all 64-bit glory. Oh, wow. But you missed a lot, dude, like, you really missed a lot. Like, I wish you were there, because when everything was happening, everybody was like, yo, typical. Uh, let me see. 
in the background inside the chemical weapons facility you should quickly and efficiently proceed to the bottling area and place demolition charges on the main gas tanks political considerations demand that collateral damage is minimized on this mission non-military personnel should be disregarded and briefing if i could channel my inner rice king no i'm not gonna even do it let's just start the show I missed so much yesterday, but at least, at the very least, I saved my VODs. And also, I, I cut out the parts where, you know, it's, you know, the the important parts of the, of the stream that people would actually like. So that, that, that's at least one good thing I do. Because a lot of people, they don't really save their VODs. And I understand why, but it's, at the same time, I feel like, you know what? If there's something that's worth a damn that I did, people would might like want to see it again and again. So it's kind of like a dis oh shit! Yo, that guy scared me, man. So yeah, and I still have more to go. I still have to cut out that part of um, the stream that I did, you know, with BJ. You know, with my nephew. My nephew and, and I, we played Unicorn Princess. It's BJ's favorite game. And we saw the, 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 the happiness that he just, you know, he just radiated when I played that game. You know, BJ was very, very elated when I played Unicorn Princess. <laughs> so, I gotta cut that out too. Oh, shit. Why are you shooting me? I save all my VODs now. I need to find more time to edit and upload to YouTube. You know what? Um, when you upload your, your VODs to YouTube, you, you could do it automatically from, from Twitch. That's what I do. I don't edit my streams, but um, not, not really. Oh, he's just walking casually. He doesn't give a shit. I don't usually edit my VODs, I just upload them to YouTube, so there's not much editing done, aside from when I take out like highlights, like the clips and shit, that's the only thing I do, but I like to make more videos, like I, I have a, I created a Let's Play channel, Baron, right, it's Baron Plays and Company, I don't know why I named it that, I don't have anything better to name it. But I haven't released the videos as of yet. Like, I already did videos. I already did um, a playthrough or a let's play. And I did this like a month or two ago. But I have yet to actually like, like release it. Alright, do I gotta find Dr. Dickhead? Like this guy, man. Sometimes you gotta go all over the place just to find one guy. Yeah, so you don't have to like download your VODs and then upload them to YouTube manually. Like it'll just transfer it over. That's what I do. Like that, that's how I do it. Oh, just the scientists here. Alright, there's nothing here. It was a waste of time. I used to download them, but I record them while I stream. Um, you don't even have to do that either, because the thing is, is that the raw file is gonna be, like, huge. It's gonna take up space, and it's putting more... more into your PC, right? So, me... I don't really bother to record the VODs while I stream because the thing is is that I want to keep my computer like really as minimally stressed out as possible and I, I just want to keep the memory intact like the, the you know the hard drive space because raw footage really takes a lot of space what the fuck 
So I just want to do that. So I think with, with the way that Twitch works, like you could save the VODs and you have like a, a set amount of days just to like do whatever you will with it before they delete it. But you could export it to YouTube. I think that's really, really convenient. That's, that's what I do. Yeah, give me the give me the damn door decoder. Now, when I used to stream on YouTube, sometimes there'll be there'll be times where I, you know, something would happen, like a song came on and it made the the stream blocked. It blocked the stream, so then I would have to like re-record myself, like re-record the stream because I wanted it in good quality, so I had to re-record it. And then I would have to edit out that specific point and then I re-upload it and that took a lot of time. That was really time consuming. And that's like that's another reason why I I made the jump to Twitch because YouTube, you know, I got more support here on Twitch than I ever did on YouTube and that's the truth. But a lot of people are saying a lot of negative things about Twitch and people are like going to like Kick or Rumble or YouTube. So I don't know about that. And the only reason why you do it is because for that purpose, yeah. I have like I just run it by my regular one terabyte um hard drive, so like I, I just like I'm just like damn I wanna buy another hard drive. I wanna buy a bigger hard drive. I mean you giving me ten seconds but my mission is complete, buddy. Oh, you killed you killed Sean B, man. You killed the guy that will play Eddard Stark from um from Game of Thrones, man. You know, the head of House... <laughs> what was it? House Stark. Ned, Ned Stark. Winter is coming. This summer. Like, you know what, Eternal? What, what else you should do is, like, you, you practice your, your video editing skills, like, post-production. And then you play these little games that are like new, they come out like indie games, like things that you wouldn't really necessarily play on stream because of the fact of the length. But I think that that'll be cool because I'm trying to do that too. Like I run, I run, or I run another channel besides Baron on YouTube, but Baron is kind of like a repository of all these streams now. But I run a different channel where I'm totally anonymous and I don't do much on it. I just put in like gameplay videos and shit, but I'm running two channels and shit and I got like 518 subscribers on that. Editing, I'll tell you about this though. It's probably if you have a creative mind, which I know you do, Mr. Rice King. Um, if you have a creative mind, you're, you're kind of like me when it comes down to video editing. You have a set idea what you want. But, and you think that is going to take like, alright, maybe a couple of hours. It ends up taking more than a couple of hours. Because then, like, the plain fact of the matter is you're just like always adding something. Like, oh, what if I added this? Oh, this would be better. And that's the part of the creative process that I enjoy the most. And even though like I went to class for this, like I went to like, all right, I graduated from college. I got my degree and then I decided to do a different program, which was certificate. And then they taught us the basics like from post-production because originally I was doing it for music. I wanted to be like the music business back then. But they taught us like a little bit of everything. They taught us post-production as well. And that was pretty interesting to me. And after I graduated from that, you know, I got my certificate in that program. I kind of kept up with the whole, you know, video editing shit. 
Like, I, I sticked with it. And I've been editing videos on my own, like, for the last 10 years. But I work predominantly on um, Vegas Pro. I would like to, like, learn Premiere. I've made a video on Premiere once. But Premiere is kind of like, to me, it's kind of like cumbersome. But it's like the industry standard, so it's something that I have to pick up. It's just that I'm too used to Vegas Pro. Like, all my videos, they're like in 4K. I like how all the bullets just land around the dude's head. It's pretty cool. I keep leaving it too long between edits and I forget what I've learned. Um, to be honest, with editing, it's pretty straightforward. Like, there was only a couple of times where I re had to refer to like a YouTube video and then the rest was like pretty much good. You know, you, you learn, I'm still learning about stuff. I still learn like these little effects, you know. As of recent, with some of my videos that I do edit, I've been like looking at the difference between putting like sharpening the video as opposed to not sharpening it. All my videos are in 4K, that's my standard. And the reason why is because anything less than 4K, YouTube doesn't give you that Kodak pack that makes it clear. If you go if it's below 4K or maybe even 2K, then if it's like 1080p, your video is going to come out blocky on YouTube. And they started doing this around 2020, like around pandemic, I noticed it. And that's what I saw that I, I, I saw that I put in a lot into this video that I I played a, a I did a, a playthrough of Half-Life 2 spent a lot of time on it edited it whatever everything looked crystal clear on my end but then i uploaded to youtube and when youtube finished processing it it was all blocky and as fuck and i was just like really dumbfounded so i looked on the forums i was like yo what's going on this is this thing that they implemented and if you don't have a certain amount of subscribers they won't give you that codec pack so to circumvent that you need to upload in 4K. So that meant that not only that I had to record at a higher bit rate, but when I rendered the videos, I have to put it in 4K so then it'll take up even more space and it'll take even more time to render. And I think that's just a damn shame, to be honest. I really enjoyed editing when I get the I really enjoy editing when I get the chance to do it. I only use free software though, nothing fancy. You know what? If you, like like James Rolfe, the Nintendo nerd, right? Angry video game nerd. Been watching him since I was a teenager, right? The guy, he spent his whole life making like films. That That's his passion, right? He spent his whole life making films and he actually went to schooling he, he did schooling for it he graduated and he asked he actually after schooling he actually worked in um in the professional sector right making videos and doing post-production and whatnot he actually did that before um his career took off as the angry video game nerd when i was watching one of his videos on like you know behind the scenes of a nerd episode when he's when when people asked him like hey what video recording software should you use what he stated was this he's like well it's really whatever you feel comfortable with and he used his um he used his preferred um he, he told he said that he uses like adobe but he's like but you could use anything that you're comfortable with it really doesn't matter just you know all that matters is the skill of the person that's editing the video because you could get like a free software and you could be like it could look just as crisp and of, of high quality 
like like a like an industry professional who just you know uses the state of the art top of the line editor like adobe premiere or something like that or final cut like i use um vegas pro vegas pro is pretty easy to learn so that's the thing i, I prefer to use it because i know my way around it and sometimes I get intimidated, and I installed Adobe Premiere on my um, my PC. Sometimes I kind of feel intimidated by it because there's a lot of bells and whistles. So I would have to like really just go one day, just set some time, and just look at tutorial videos on YouTube on you know how to really work it. Hey Ross, how you doing, Rose? Rose E, Rose E. Is the Ross? How you doing, Ross? How's your Sunday going, by the way? Like, I hope you're sun you're having a good Sunday, Ross. I hope everything is fine, like wine, and you got the club. For shits and giggles, I'm gonna use the club. Everybody hates this gun for good reason, but I actually like the club. I'm probably like the only person in in the real world that likes the club. <laughs> in the real world, assuming that this game is. Legitimately real. Alright, did I get something? Let me see. Yeah, I need this key. Hey, how you doing? You missed every shot. I hope you know that. Are you gonna throw a grenade? Wow, buddy. That was spectacular. Your father must be proud. You got another grenade? Nope. Let me see. That's good to know. I had no idea. I threw together a quick edit today at 1080p. I did notice the shorts I've uploaded on 1080p look a bit blocky. Yeah, you're gonna have to upload them in 4K, uh, Eternal. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to do that. And I need the save key. Where did I find the save key before? Oh, uh, okay. I think I do know where the save key is. Where the hell is the safe key? I have to go across the map again. And this giant, ginormous ass map. Been pretty good. Went to see the new D&D movie with my brother-in-law. It was pretty good. Oh, I'm glad. Did you notice things that take place in the movie that takes place in the D&D games that you play? Like like monsters and shit like that like i don't know much about um D, D. you gotta remember that this is what i needed all right and i need to go back all the way back there to that other hut and i got these guys waiting for me this is beautiful you're gonna throw a grenade look at that with your fucking super soaker spf what no it wasn't an spf You know what, I'm trying to like upload shorts as well because I'm seeing that, you know, it, it actually works in your favor if you're trying to get out there. Because a lot of people's attention spans these days are shorter and shorter and they keep getting shorter by the decade. And I haven't been able to actually utilize the shorts because it's like, I don't really understand how to do it on PC. Like, I know it has to be six, uh, 60 seconds, but then it's like, what else do I have to do to make it a short? I have no clue. Like, I'm not going to take my phone out and record, like, my my gameplay and then use that quality. I'm not going to do that. I think that's kind of like a slap in the face, you know, to do that barbaric method from 2007. When I have the, <laughs> when I actually have the, the resources to do it. Yep, they showed a few of the races we've met, which were really cool to see. Although there were there were this I've heard about, but have seen in my game have yet to see in my game yet. Oh, okay. All right. 
And I'm thinking this is the surface too where I gotta go to the bunker, but nah. I'm gonna do that. Also, overall, it was a decent movie, alright. And that's surprisingly shocking. It was surprisingly shocking, yeah. Ow! Air hole! And he lands on his feet. I just edit clips viewers have captured in different aspect ratios. Also, yeah, it has to be a different aspect ratio, okay. Because I'm gonna, like, after my stream, I'm gonna work on a few things. So I wanna do that. And I have to work on my TikTok too, but I have to accumulate some clips. You know, these bits that I have, I'm saving them. But I feel that I should, like, stockpile a couple more just to entice people. 1080 by 920, 1920 is what I use, so it works on phones. Alright, cool. Yeah, a little cheesy near the end, but all in all, a fun movie. Alright, it's not a problem. It doesn't have to be a great movie, it's just as if you enjoyed it. Because I don't expect film adaptations of games, or in this case a board game, to be actually decent. It's usually a cash grab, but now they're seeing that, you know what, there's people that actually love this and they deserve to have something fucking decent. Not that Uwe bullshit, like... Oh! Hey, Dwayne. I, I like the way that sometimes in the animations of the enemies, they nonchalantly just walk towards you, just continuously firing that gun, man. That's so badass. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm just... I really love this game. This is one of my favorite games. This is the game Eternal. This game is very much in tune to my life a lot. This is the game that... This is the first first person shooter game I've ever played in my life. And not only that... This is the game that got me into the James Bond franchise because of this game. So, and the reason why... I'm a fan of James Bond is because of this game, and this is one of my favorite games. Criminally forgotten by, not not so much forgotten, but it's like so much fucking like like red tape trying to get this game to the new generation and shit. Then they had the remake, which was not bad, but it just felt like Call of Duty. Boris. I am invincible! Yeah, take me to the mainframe, Boris. Boris Karloff. Because it's a hard to see you. Your ugly face. Come on. I got the double clubs on your ass, boy. Come on, Alan Cummings. Come on, hurry it up, Alan Cummings. I know who you are. Alan Cummings. I edit the clips and I put them on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram reels. I have to get started on that shit too. Knockers. Let me see. Wait, I need to analyze the key. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you for fucking up my, my whole operation here. Oh, you got dual DD 
the stolen the stolen yeah brother man come on let's do this matrix fuck matrix 1999 is the year that i played this game even though this game came out in 97 and the original movie it was based on came out in 95 Yeah, you know what, Eternal, I actually, like, I think like a week or two ago, um, Roz was with me, and she actually, we actually put on the, um, the the trailer to the original 2000 D&D movie because I told her, because she said something about it, or I said something about the new one that just came out, and I told her, like, you know, that th there was a D&D movie that came out in 2000, and she didn't know that it did. And so I put the trailer on and like it was just wacky. It had Marley, we uh, what was his name? Marlon Wayans. Yeah, it had Marlon Wayans and then like the villain it was this bald headed guy with blue lipstick. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like Marlon Wayans. Yeah, I think he's a funny guy. I grew up, oh shit, a new cheat is available. Yeah. I beat it in under four minutes. Yeah. Oh, the silo. Dun, dun. Kriegistan, the missile silo. Say yeah. Like I, I don't know much about um, Dungeons and Dragons, and I don't think I reckon that I'll be in a scenario where I actually, or somebody's like, "Hey, Baron," you know? Because it's like. I don't know man, it's just that I don't think I'd be in a scenario where I would play that game for any reason. Yo, give me give me what you got. Oh he shits key cards, that's cool. Yo, who's shooting? Who's shooting? There are people over here. Who the hell is that? He's going blah 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 That was a screensaver from back in the nineties. Blah 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 blah. the D&D &D movie. I know like I went to go see like movies that was like that like the whole fantasy movie like two movies in the theater many many years ago. I went to go see Aragon back then and I didn't want to see it. I didn't know anything about Aragon but my father wanted to see it. And he took my cousin and I to go watch that movie, and we were like, we don't want to watch the movie. And he was like, no, shut up, we're gonna watch it. So he took us both to see it. And that movie was fucking hot trash. I hated that fucking movie. And then I know like, 10 years ago, like, uh, what was it called? Like, Jack the Giant Slayer? It was like, um, a take on Jack and the Beanstalk. I went to go see that movie by myself because at the time I was going through like a rough patch in my life at such a young age, the tender age of 23. And I was just like, all right. I only saw it that one time, but I was just like, mm, okay. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not ever gone bad. I'm trying to be like this one expert GoldenEye player named Grassley Double O. And I suck ass at this. I suck ass at headshots. I can never line up a headshot for the life of me. Yeah, you give me that dat. You give me the dat. Hey, excuse me, sir. Minimize civilian casualties. Um, well, scientist casualties. Thank you. The dat. What do I have to do with this big? I think do I have to? Uh... Oh, that's not. Oh, yeah, I have to take a photo of the satellite. But I got the dat. I got that.
Yo, I'm not gonna lie though. This this um AK-47 or they call it the the KF Soviet 47 da 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 da. This always reminded me of a pencil for some reason. And I thought I was the only one that thought of that. Apparently other people thought the same way. People was like people was like yo this this assault rifle reminds me of a pencil. You got something for me? You got shit cards? Come on. Did I get all the what is it, the tele telemetric data? Which is called? Uh, retrieve satellite circuitry. I still gotta get that. Plant the bombs, photograph this. Yo, somebody, holy shit, somebody's holding out. You're holding out on me, sir. Holy shit, you're holding out on me. Where's the data? Now I gotta go back downstairs. You can see the pencil you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Holy shit, but I gotta go back and collect the, the telemetric data. I think it's called. I don't even know if it's down here, man. Like, all the scientists left. Now I gotta go fucking hunting that down. Why you gotta embarrass me like this, dude? Why? Fuck no. I thought I was collecting them. I think I gotta start this again. What's that? What are those little cards? Fuck. Alright, I gotta... I gotta uh, abort this mission. Because I think I missed the card and, you know, you gotta get it before these scientists just, just run away. They're like, oh, oh my god, my beakers, my test tubes. Oh, oh. But they're from, like, Russia, so they're going to be like, oh, my beakers, my test tubes, or something like that. I don't know. I, I suck at that. Oh, shit. How dare you? Minimize scientist casualties, you dickhead. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't do that. That was that guy. He just killed those two guys. You dickhead. Dear God. Fuck man, I wanted a perfect headshot. At least I got this perfect headshot. Alright, give me the data. Give me the data. Shit the data. I want you to shit your pants. Shit the data. Come on. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. I mean, I know it's kind of undignified to, to ask you to soil your pants before me. I mean, I wouldn't want that either, but. Bitches don't know about my PP7. My PP7. Oh my God, I love my PP7. I like the way every shot missed them. It sucks. PP7! I got the debt. No, 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 no. You're not running away from me. I will smack you. Shoot you in the butt. I shot him in the butt. Oh, he's not gonna do anything. Hey, you got some goodies for me? Or oh, did I did I get everything? 
Please tell me that I got everything. Please. Let me see. Complete, complete. And yeah, alright, so I got everything now. Before I didn't get everything. I, I mean, at least I don't think. Alright, it's, it's been placed. Oh, are you kidding me? Somebody has the key, alright. I'm not gonna lie, this was like the hardest mission that I ever did when I was a kid. Because it's like, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, what do I do, man? What do I do? The time is running out. You gotta understand, this was a time before that there was like markers that would lead you to the place that you, that you had to go to, man. This was a time where like, there was no hand holding in video games. They just threw you in there and they expected you to read the manual before you played. I don't know many kids that did that. Oh, what the hell? Where are you going? Shot you in the cab. What do you got for me? Oh, you got nothing. I gotta stop abusing these scientists, man. They don't deserve this shit. Hey, you you don't have any keys for me? Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, boy. Yeah! Yeah. Alright, good. Now I could get the hell out of here. Say hello to my little friend! Oh shit, Uvermog. Run, bitch, run for your life! What you got in that case, sir? You got the presidential porno shit, I guess. I don't know. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are enjoying this stream. I know I am because it, this is very nostalgic to me. You know, I spend a better part of my youth murdering soldiers, you know, doing their job. Each and every one of them was like a few days away from going back to home. To, to, you know, going back on leave, I guess, I don't know. Visiting their families and, you know, little, little henchman was, you know, his daddy got murdered by James Bond. Bond, James Bond. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Alright, good shit. Oh, I've got to crack my neck. All right, good shit. The the frigate, the frigate, the frigate. Oh ho, we oui, we oui. Lafayette, Monte Carlo. Oh ho. I'm not French by any means. I apologize to all the French people. Shot is oh, he coming with the duel <laughs> with the duels, duel phantoms. Oh, it takes you like one second to realize that I'm not there anymore. I'm too fast for you people. First person shooters at their finest, swear to god. I wonder if there's any more of you. Yep. I spoke too soon. Because if I go in there and I rescue one of the hostages, somebody's gonna come up behind me and blow up the computers and make me fail. I don't need that shit in my life. Oh. Oh, shit! Don't shoot. Don't shoot that. I don't need you guys coming in shooting this shit. I was supposed to defuse a bomb, excuse me, sir. Alright, good. Like, ever since yesterday, I had the need to play this game.
Yeah, I, re I released the hostages. Ha! Damn, you, you're the worst henchman. You're the worst henchman. You guys are lousy shots and you let the hostages escape. Congratulations. Betty Nash. I think, yeah, this is where I need to be. I need to be on the other side, it's more easier to access. Hmm. Getting some... You getting some sausage? I mean, that emote looks like sausage. I mean, you getting some sausage? I mean, hey. Eternal, would you like some sausage? Eternal, would you like some sausage juice? Oh, you're getting the hot dog tea. <laughs> hey, Nordy, how you doing? Thank you for joining me, Nordicius. And that was pretty fun playing Jackbox last night. It was, it was really fun. No, I know I, I was like a little tired because for streaming for like four hours, putting up this act and you know chasing my nephews around. My nephews, they they went to their father's house now. So and my sister took my nephews and they all went to their father's place. So yeah, so my sister staying with um, her boyfriend and the kids over the night, over for a couple of nights because they um. They moved back to New York City and they're gonna find a place together, so. So we had, we get to have them every other week. Yay, yay! It was late for you anyways. I mean, yeah, I mean, shit, bro, like. Alright, so the tracker bug has been successfully placed. Let me see. Rescue the hostages. So, I, so I, I guess I have to. All right. So then, <laughs> there you go. Completed. Completely. I've been here for a while. Just don't really feel like being social today. Couldn't resist accusing Eternal of drinking hot dog water. Oh shit, yo! I think that hostage was a fucking phantom. Holy shit. That that hostage was a, a, a fucking phantom, guys. <laughs> Let me get back to the habit. Alright, so this mission has been completed. Couldn't resist accusing. I understand, sometimes I'll go on people's streams and like I just don't feel like talking for that moment. So I, I get it completely, dude. But thank you for showing up either way and I'm hoping that it's been entertaining to say the least. Disrupt all surveillance equipment, break communication link to bunker, disable Spetsnaz support aircraft, gain entry to bunker. Yeah, Ross, how late did you sleep? You woke up at 10.30 today only to realize my brother-in-law texted me that we're going to the movies at 12. I'm not gonna lie, I woke up around that time as well. Like, I was just, like, really tired. But you know what the thing is? It's, like, as good as it, as cool as... Nah, 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 excuse me as cool as it is to sleep in in the weekends i hate doing that because it's like by the time you get up like you know all right 10 30 11 you wake up well then you get you know you prepare yourself for the day you know you wash up and eat breakfast it's already 12 o'clock 
and before you know it it's already three and you're you're really at the end of the day practically because you you, you know you, you got to get ready for the the work week so that's the that's the drawback about like sleep and like sleeping in on the weekends i mean it's cool but you lose the week you lose that day to me you lose the day like when i was a kid i used to wake up really really early in the weekends just to watch cartoons or play video games before everybody else is up and my father used to complain a lot about that he's like yo we can't get this boy up for school but when the weekends come he's already the f he's the first one up he's like up at like 6 a.m you know, wh why why and I was just like, cause, you know, I'm trying to save the day. I mean, it's the weekend. You know, like, I'm gonna put in that effort just for school. Like, yeah, it's school. Like, I wanna fucking go to school. Like, I wanna get up. Fucking hated school so much. I stayed up until 3 a.m. last night to hang out with Sneaky. Oh, really? Like, what did you guys do? Like, did you guys, like, talk and shit? You just, like, you just bullshitted. I used to do that with Sneaky. Like, I haven't done that recently because Sneaky's just been busy. But, like, we used to stay up and just, like, shoot the shit and play games and just fucking laugh at shit. Like, Sneaky's really cool. I woke up at 8.30 and decided to get to, to sleep a little longer than woke up at noon. Kids these days don't understand that, you know what, there was a, it was a ritual to, to wake up early on the weekends for the Saturday morning cartoon. The kids don't know about this, and they never will. Kids of these days, man. Kids these days. <laughs> Fuck. The stupid thing caught me. We were watching Phantom of the Opera, the musical, and clips from Cat. Of course, it's Cat. Sneaky Flutes loves cats. Hey, um, Roz, did Sneaky Flutes uh, show you her favorite character? You know who her favorite character is in Cats, right? Because we went through this whole thing. Like, like I remember the. I remember what you call it. I remember the commercials to Cats, right? When I was a kid. I mean, I wasn't too keen. Yeah, Victoria, there you go, yeah. yeah she she would not stop talking about Victoria. She's like, yo, Victoria's the best, man. And she would show me videos and I'm just like, <laughs> damn, it's sneaky. But she showed me shit like that. Who the hell is Rumtug? Is that one of the cats? I think so. I'm not totally sure. Close quarters combat! Yeah, Rum... Rumtug... Tomb... I don't know. What is it? Turma, Turma, Ramtug Turma. Like, like she just goes Gaga for Victoria, and I'm just like, is that white cat? Like I, I remember, like I said, I remember the commercials all over the place in the '90s, but like I never watched Cats at all. Like I never saw the musical, and you know, I. I didn't watch, I never watched anything on Broadway. I never watched any musical in my life. Like, well, at least not like, I've watched, all right. I used to watch like Little Shop of Horrors, like the 80s one from back in the days. I used to love that one when I was like a toddler, right? But that was the only one that gets a pass because I'm not really into musicals. That's the only one I would watch because it's nostalgic to me and I love that shit. When I was a kid, I used to sing that shit. You need blood and he's got more than enough, so go get him! 
Wouldn't you like a Cadillac car? You got a lot of blood in him, so go get it. <laughs> I don't know, some shit like that. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, <laughs> Ross says, I mentioned to her we need to watch Cats with Nordy, but no, we gotta get the whole gang to watch the beauty that is Cats. Have you ever watched that musical? Like, how do you know about that? Because that Cats came out in the 90s, like, or like in the 80s or some shit like that, but it's, I mean, I think it, it, it left circulation for a while because I, like, I used to see the commercials like because they was always advertising cats on Broadway, but then like after I was like ten years old, that's when they stopped because throughout my childhood they were always advertising it, and they were using the commercials from the '80s to fucking to to advertise it. Like you see the fathers with like in the commercial, they they interviewing the fathers like, oh, did you like cats? in the commercial and he has those fucking glasses that parents used to wear back in the 80s fuck not again i forgot that there was a fucking camera yo bring it on man i'm fucking ready i got the cloud here there's like the worst gun in the game it's modeled after the scorpion the real life submachine gun fuck Oh shit, the ice cream man! Do you guys hear that? It's the ice cream man! Fuck! Oh shit! Fuck! Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, Eternal. You just saw me get molly whopped. Is that what they call it? That's what the cool kids call it. Let me see. I used to be a theater kid back in elementary school. Oh, Laughing Beauty, she was one too, actually. She was in, um... When she was in elementary school, she was in um, 101 Dalmatians. Like she tried to be in like the high school theater. She wanted to be there, but like, like my mom didn't want her coming home late. Oh shit! They run into that fire <laughs> like a fucking moth to the flame. You know what, Roz? Like, if you used to be a theater kid, like, what happened? What changed? It? Like, like, would you still like to do that stuff? Because I know there should be, like, little community, like, theaters that people just, you know, they do their thing. Like, would you like to do stuff like that still? Listen, and about Cats, I would watch it. But I would watch it in the group and Sneaky Flutes has to be there because we have to like We have to talk about how hot Victoria is and shit <laughs> Like Like she was just mesmerized by Victoria Oof The second they mentioned we'd have to audition to be In the plays in high school I was like nope For me ah Roz It could have been an awesome opportunity Like Roz is a drama club chick. That would that would have been that's what's up. You know what? I would like to like You know what? It seems kinda cool to like be an actor. Like I've seen my cousin do it. Cause my cousin acted on an off Broadway play. Like once, like a couple of times because I helped do the lights, right? And I think it would be cool to do something like that. If not just to be an extra, I would like to do something like that. I think that would be so fucking cool. Like, I'm not gonna be a fucking world-renowned actor. No, I'm not gonna be like the next Brad Pitt or Leo Decap. 
or like Sean Connery, but hey, I mean, it seems kind of fucking cool. Just to say, yeah, I was, I was an extra here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Got all the cats. I love the stage, but I wouldn't say I'm the best there. There is, I'd probably do costumes or set designs. All right. So you know what, Roz? You know what you should do? Like, maybe if that's what you really would like to, like, if you find that interesting, if there's like a community theater event thingy mabob going on, maybe you should, um, maybe you should just like look into it, you know? There's plenty of people that would like somebody to do that, to volunteer for that shit. That's what's up. Yo, who is shooting? What the fuck? Yo, he just materialized. This... <laughs> like, I like how I shot the gun three times in a row. Look at that. Although I'm pretty sure my teacher did this to get me out of my shell, but out of three plays I did, I was part of the four main characters twice. That, that's pretty cool. I mean, I live in New York City, so it's like, it probably isn't hard for me to be to pick up work as a human prop, aka an extra. That'd be cool. Like, I remember telling my sister about it back then because I told her about it because, like, I was like, you know what? I would, I would like to be, like, an extra. Like, I know I'm not going to be an actor. I know you have to study. My, one of my exes, she was, um... She wanted to be an actress and she was actually going to school for it. And um I know that, you know, that that takes a lot of hard work and practice and studying. Evidently, you know, you, you don't have to have a degree in being like an actor, but you know, it helps and it helps to like really know your shit, right? I would like to be an extra and I told my sister this um, back then, it's like, yo, I'd like to be like a zombie in like The Walking Dead. That would be cool. Or some shit like that. I think it would be really, really fun to do. Alright, did I complete everything? Let me see. Gain entry to the bunker. The golden cat has followed. The golden ace, excuse me. But thank you, golden ace, for following. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for some stupid reason, my my widgets are not working. Why is that? I have no clue. Can we... I don't know if it was working, but hey. Thank you for joining me, golden ace. How did you find me, by the way? I would like to know, because... I'm kind of like a secret. Hey Ace. Thank you for joining me, Golden Ace. I, I appreciate it very much. I really do. Bond. James Bond. Oh yeah, we got BJ Blaskovich gaming up in this piece. How you doing, dude? Like, I know you've been sick. I know your mom is sick, but how's she doing? How are you doing, BJ? And how you faring up against all this horrible weather, by the way? So, Golden Ace, tell me about yourself. You were looking for some Golden Eye action? What's up? I'd like to get to know ya. But, in the platonic sense. Natalia! It appears that we are cellmates. Who are you, anyway? I can't fucking do this. The name is Bond, James Bond. Let me say that like Sean Connery. The name is Bond, James Bond. Natalia Folijuna Semenova. Charmed to meet you, Natalia. Why have you been locked up? They think that I'm a traitor, that I betrayed my countrymen. And I suck, I'm sorry to any um, Russian speakers here. And did you? And I'm sorry to any British speakers, British speakers, British people. 
British speakers, Br British people speak English. Uh, there goes my career at narrating. Let me see. She's just searched for Golden Eyes streams. Good to be here. Well, you know what? It's good to have you, Golden Ace. You'll find that you know you came in the perfect time. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you stick around and join for more streams because we have a lot of fun on my streams. But thank you. And to celebrate this joyous occasion, me getting, um, what you call it? Me getting a, a, a new follower just right now. There, there's some stars. Come on, guys. Get your stars. Get them styles on. Let's do it. Get your stars on. Come on, guys. Let me see. I like fucking with the soldiers. He's like, oh, my stomach hurts. Well, I'm glad she's she's up and around today, BJ. That That's very good. I'm glad. Tell Mama BJ that I'm happy that she's getting better. Dodging severe thunderstorms right now. Yeah, man. God, my stomach hurts. I'm going to be sick. You must think I was born yesterday. I cannot do accents for shit. Yeah, I do think you were born yesterday. <laughs> that worked well. <laughs> yeah, she seems better. Alright, that's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody... How's everybody doing, by the way? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it very much. I'm really ill. Open the cell door. Shut up! Don't bother me again! <laughs> ah, man. If I keep fucking with him, is he gonna be like, oh, you want me to drop more stars? I'll drop more stars. I'll drop more stars for you people because you all are stars. Right now. You like that? I'm gonna make a star out of you. Star you. You all good? Well, you know what? I'm glad you're good, Ace. Now, uh, where do you, where are you, um, where are you watching this from? Like, where are you from originally? Cause I got people from all over the the the, in the world at this point. I got somebody from the UK. I have somebody from Canada. I'm located in America. Sometimes I have somebody from South Africa when she comes around and she's pretty cool. So I got them all. For a small streamer, I have like a spread out fan base, I guess, or viewership, or... Oh shit. I was trying to do like a knife run, entirely knife. But, um, that's another thing I suck ass at, is the knife. Oh! Using the doors as like my shield. Double clubs, huh? Oh, I mean, that's, that's not bad. Are you from England? Oh, that's what's up. Alright, so we got England here too. We got people from the UK. That's what's up. You're the second person. I'm glad that you chose my stream. I hope um, I hope I entertain you in some way, shape, or form because I really do go crazy. People could attest to that. Sometimes I burst into song. I strangle the cat. Sometimes I just... I prank call people, but I haven't done that in a while, though. Yo, should I go back to doing that, guys? Should I go back to, like, doing prank calls like that one time I did it? When I was playing that game Bloodwash? Of course, I would have to, like, set that up, though. I want my knives back. And my knife. I only got two knives. <laughs> prank calling sounds good. 
I like your gameplay. Well, thank you, BJ. I appreciate that very much, BJ Blaskovich Gaming. Oh, and um, we have, I believe, three other, yeah, three other streamers here, Golden Ace. We have Eternal Arcade, BJ Blaskovich Gaming, and Odysseus. They they all stream. They're all very good streamers, and you know we're like a little community, and you know. I in I encourage you to uh, give them a shot too. When you know what I mean, because they got something to offer as well. And I want to see everybody grow up in here. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate it very much. I got someone I watch for soundboard prank calling. I mean, like the prank calls that I, like the prank caller YouTube that I like a lot is um. Onage pranks. Yeah, that guy's really funny. Fuck. Fuck. I fucked that up. Gotta do this again. I haven't streamed in a week because I'm getting over being sick. Sorry for that. Now, BJ, your health is what matters first and foremost, okay? You stream when you can. Alright, it's not a problem. Eternals in the house. I wish that didn't happen. Now they're gonna come pouring out of the woodwork. They heard that. For some reason, they hear my gunfire, but they don't hear everybody else's. How you doing? Yeah. Bitcoin Baron. Bitcoin Baron, thank you for joining my stream. How you doing, Bitcoin Baron? One Baron to another, showing support. Us Barons gotta stick together, man. Uh, you know what? This is horrible. I gotta do this again. Thank you for stopping by, Bitcoin Baron. Prank as Ghostface Killer. Just added people from chat. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Yeah, we that we're wishing BJ Blaskovich Gaming a, a speedy and swift recovery. No, him and his mother, because his mother is very sick as well. His father was sick, but I think his father got over the, you know, the illness. I like how you, like, made no sense. Nah, she's better. Dad is struggling. Oh, okay. No problem. Because I don't think you made mention of your, your father, you know, how he's doing, so. Let me see if I can fling this at the crack of your ass. Oh, fuck, man. That would have been cool. Fuck! Yeah, that was horrible again. I gotta do this again. Alright. Bitcoin Baron says, not bad. Pretty tired. Been to been to see the family today because it's mom's birthday done a lot of walking oh that's what's up you're getting those steps in bro you're getting healthy bitcoin baron is also a streamer ace so if you want to see some quality ish check out bitcoin baron and i vouch for him because i'm also a baron it's just that he's the baron of you know cryptocurrency i'm the baron of anarchy but us barons no matter what we're the baron of we have to stick together so Yeah, he's the one that got everyone sick. That sucks, BJ. It was good. I wore a dress for the April Fool's hilarity. Oh, well, um, you know what, Bitcoin Baron? You're not the only one that, that, 
you know, that, that fooled everybody yesterday because I actually had a stream where I pretty much trolled everybody saying that I was doing a face reveal. And then I just broke off into like this bit. And I like, <laughs> I, I had people for a little bit. And I, I put the recording on my, um, my YouTube. So yeah. But I'm glad you had the, the, you know, I'm glad you had a good time. And how old is your mother, by the way? How, how old did she turn? Or how young did she turn? Excuse me. How many years young? Oh, I'm doing a little better. All right. All right. That's good. She's in her late 70s. Wow. God bless, man. God bless. Late 70s. He is too, he is too a new year for, for Bitcoin Baron's mom and many more happy years. Many more happy and healthy years. Happy birthday, Bitcoin Baron's mom. I'm doing the, the, the technique. I got one knife left. Make it count! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! How many times I made that reference already? In the stream. Fuck. Got the clubs. You guys didn't see me do all this fucking action for nothing, right? For fucking nothing! I'm really, really horrendous with the throwing knife. Put in like shiatsu massage type shit. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> gotcha. The guy shot off his head. He doesn't care. He just doesn't care. He's dead to the world. And now he's dead. Literally dead. Let me see. Oh, you're buffering? Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, th those storms are like a nightmare to you, right? Those storms are a bitch over there, man. No. the key card. Got the clipboard and I don't know why I need a clipboard. Oh fuck. <laughs> neck and neck in this shit. Alright, so I got the clipboard and all I need is that safe key and I hope I have the safe key. My uh, internet's hiccuping. 
of a dual 45 pistol. Kind of hard to care when you're dead. I mean, exactly. It's, it's very hard to care when you're dead. I mean, you know, because you're dead. Oh, yeah. Got the dossier. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, come on, Miss Seminova. Come with me. My name is Bond. James Bond. I was born in the desert. My name is Sean Connery. I was born in the desert. That's my shitty uh, Sean Connery accent. My name is Sean Connery! No, my name is Pierce Brosnan. Sean Connery. There's another person here. Here, go check the data, lady. Alright, I completed the mission. Mission complete. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just love doing this shit. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. It's going to fire. The Golden Eye Satellite is going to fire on Seven Naya. That's a nice name. If I have a daughter, I'm going to name her Seven Naya. But she's not going to know I'm going to name her after, you know, a fictitious, you know, satellite station from a, you know, a James Bond movie. Seven Naya. Oh. The sound effects are like from a Western movie. Well, you know what? I wouldn't put that past anything because the thing is is that there's these sound libraries and then you pay the licensing fee for it and then you could use it i've been trying to track down a lot of like the sounds of um of goldeneye for the most part i got some of the gun sounds i got the rocket launcher sound i mean it's pretty cool i forgot what sound that li uh library that i find them in let me see Literally a perfect Sean Connery impression. Thank you, Bitcoin Baron. Uh, Baron, are you going to be streaming today? Because I know, like, I, I tried to catch your stream yesterday. I know you were streaming Hold Fast yesterday. I really want to get that game, but I'm going to wait for a sale. Um, oh, wow. Sean Connery is part of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That movie was just fucking shit. That movie was shit, <laughs> honestly. Eternal Arcade says, I love how some of the sound effects from GoldenEye carry over to Time Splitters. Does it? Does it really? Like, maybe the glass, but like the explosions, not so much. Nah, no stream today. We'll be streaming Elden Ring tomorrow. Elden Ring is such a hard game. I, I would like to get good at that game, but unfortunately, I have to really practice at that game. But well, you guys have been good, you people have been good, and you deserve your stars. And some fucking bombs right now. You, you like these bombs? Yeah, you like these fucking bombs? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what's up. But nah, here's some stars. You, you guys have been good sports. Time Splitters. Oh wow, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Do you do, have you ever played that game, BJ? Like Eternal Arcade and I, we grew up playing that game. That game is basically like the makers of GoldenEye went off to make that game. It's like literally the best game. Eternal was actually playing it on his streams the other time. Hey, I like you. You actually like a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? You actually like that movie? You're like the only one. Let me see. You're streaming Time Splitters 2 tomorrow. I'll be sure to try to catch that. I know that there was another shitty movie that Sean Connery was. And it was like with Sean Connery and Uma Thurman. And I think it was called The Avengers. And it came out when I was a child. And the, the trailers made it look so fucking corny. And then I actually saw the movie. And the movie was just a pile of dog shit. 
I think it was like based on a 60s show from like and there was a, this thing in the 90s where like they were resurrecting a lot of shows from the 60s and making movies but shitty movies but the one movie that's based on one of those shows that, that is shitty that I like is like Wild Wild West with Will Smith I don't know why but I fucking like that movie that's like my guilty pleasure You're blasting through these missions, Baron. Thank you, Eternal. I've been playing this game since I was 10 years old, dude. Like, yo, get get up, get away from me, bro. Like, what the fuck? So anyways, Eternal, I've been playing this game since I was um 10 years old. So <laughs> I played these games thoroughly. And I'm still not an expert at them. But like I told you, what I'm playing on, I'm playing on the 1964 emulator, right? And I'm also playing with mouse and keyboard. And that just kind of sucked right there. I just, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed of, about that kill specifically. But I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard, so it's making everything a little bit better. And this is not the way to go. Yeah, Wild Wild West is a fun movie. It, it definitely is. Yo, Tropic, how you been, bro? Like, it's been a while, bro. Like, I I haven't seen you streaming lately, dude. How you been? Are you okay? Is everything good with you, Tropic? Like, it's been a minute, dude. Like, how, how you been? What's new? What's new in the world of Tropic? Thank you for joining me, by the way. Hope you've been good, man. I've been gone for a while. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, yo, where Tropic at? Got some body armor here. I'm playing some GoldenEye, some retro shit. Bush popping. Oh boy. I think this is the way. Do you, do you know the. Uh, yeah, this is the way. Like in front of that statue of, I, I would guess, Vladimir Lenin. So yeah, that's a shitty fucking statue. Yeah, but I hope you be good, Tropic. Dumb movie. What the Wild Wild West is a dumb movie? It is a dumb movie, but I love it. Oh shit! Oh, we got Sean Bean. He's back. He's back from the dead. Sean Bean. Let me see what else. Just been hella busy, haven't been able to do anything and been traveling a lot. Hopefully I start getting back on the grind. Well, you know what? Hopefully so, because I, I really been, I was thinking about you the other day, Tropic. I was like, yo, whatever happened to Tropic, man, I hope he's okay. Because usually you be streaming um Fortnite. And yo, we got to hit up that um Dead Island Riptide, bro. Like I already finished Dead Island and I'm waiting to play that. We got to hit that shit up, bro. This is the month Dead Island 2 comes out. You ready for that shit? Can you imagine this being the actual movie with that music? Let me tell you something, BJ. This music is phenomenal. And I will not have you disrespect this music. Because I've, I've watched, I've watched me, like movies with like horrible music. And I'm just like, yo, this music is just shitty. And that's a lot of B-movies from the 70s. Like, a, they got a lot of shitty mix shit shit. Like, especially, like, the Grindhouse shit. But I could excuse that because those movies are, like, fun to watch. They got, like, the out-of-tune synthesizing shit. <laughs> Alright. Um, am I going the right way? This is the thing with this map. I, you know, I always got lost in this on this map specifically because there's no clear way everything's so fucking dark let me see for England James no for me I like my fav the favorite quote from this movie that I love the most is half of everything is luck and the other half fate I really enjoy that quote I used to use that as my tagline in um, MySpace back in the days like that she's just dead, like, right by a helicopter. Yeah, let's get out of there. Oh, 
Now I gotta find a black box, which is not a black box. I mean, it's the flight recorder. But that's what they call that box. The black box in an airplane that records everything. Oh, fuck. She got caught. Good job, Natalia. Thanks a lot. Look, BJ, look. You own this statue park, BJ. Look, your initials are right here. BJ, what? Yo, BJ owns a statue park in St. Petersburg, Russia. That's what's up. Yeah, bro. You see? Everything's going BJ. Let me see. Yeah, I like Sean Bean. He's really a good actor. Yeah, and it's disappointing because I bought the hype for WWW, Wild Wild West. I like that song with Will Smith that he that was all over um it was all over MTV back in the days. I really loved that song when I was a kid. I, that that song got stuck in my head. Let me see. Yeah, dude, I'm about to start getting back on the stream grind and start the original Dead Island. I'll be sure to watch it, dude. I'm going to catch that tropic. Got to make some food for, for, for night. I'll be back. All right, no problem, dude. Wiki wiki wow wow Yo, I have a I have a story, right? This is story time with Baron, so everybody get gather around, okay? Alright, story time with Baron. I'm gonna tell you a story from my childhood. And this is back in the year of our Lord 1999. So this was back in 99, right? This was the summer that this movie came out, Wild Wild West. So that song by Will Smith was everywhere. Anytime it was on MTV, I would always catch it and watch it, right? Because th that song was fucking catchy, right? I used to go to, um, like, I guess, like, day camp. They call it day camp in the Salvation Army, right? So during the day, my mom would drop me off over there. And then I I'll just hang out with a bunch of other kids. And then they'll take us on trips. They'll take us in the chapel just to learn about God and whatnot. And we, we, you know, it was a fun thing, right? Well, we went, like this specific day, we went on a trip to the park, right? Like, it was like this huge park that's around the neighborhood, right? And um, throughout the whole time, I was, they, they put us in a van. And I was with my friends and then we were just excited and like the, throughout the whole trip I was saying wiki wiki wow wow wiki wiki wow wow west and I kept saying that when we got to the park my friends and I we were playing tag and every time I like tag somebody I was like wiki wiki wow wow west and I just kept saying it and one of the counselors he was getting annoyed with me he was like yo Baron can you please stop saying that and I, was, I wasn't being malicious but I was a child at the time and it just got stuck in my head and I just kept saying it. And it wasn't me being malicious. It was just, you know, I was a kid and it just got stuck. So I was like on top of like that jungle gym part with my friends and I kept saying it. And that counselor, he was like helping the younger kids like get down the slide and all that shit, right? So I kept saying it. So then he turns around and then he just jumps right at my face and then he just spits the entire first verse of that song like at my face like right all up in my face like this is a battle rap and he's like wookie wookie wild wild west jim west desperado rough rider no you don't want nada like this this grown-ass fucking teenager and he's really face to face to me and he's just like spitting this fucking verse like it's a battle rap and then i'm just like right there standing and then he finishes it and he's like, don't let your lip react. You don't want to see my head with my hip be at. And then I was just like, oh shit, I did it. I did it. Now I'm going to get it. But he finished off and then he just walked off. And I shut up for the entire rest of the day. And now I was just like, I, I didn't know what to say. Like that, that was the way he shut me up. Like, that guy, he got me good. But you know what? Let me tell you something. That was back in 1999. 
So it's been approximately, I would say, almost 24 years ago. All right. So to that counselor, you know, 24 years is a long time. You know, we've seen a lot in this world, like 9-11, the death of Michael Jackson, you know, Baby Shark. We've seen a lot, pandemic. We've seen a lot. And a lot has happened throughout, you know, those 24 years in each and every individual's life. So I'm pretty sure that he has children today. And maybe, maybe there's going to be some sort of synapses that he's going to remember when he sees Jim West or when he has his wife get out of that dress and maybe he'll put two and two together or maybe when he hears the song again in passing or sees the movie in passing he's gonna know that I've been squatting in his mind rent free for the last 24 years so to that counselor I'm back baby wicked wicked wow wicked wicked wow 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 west you think I'm playing around you think I'm playing around this is 24 years coming I'm back, bitch! <laughs> She'll be out of that dress when she meets Jim West. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, you thought I was gonna break into song. Alright, let me continue forward. That's actually a true story. Alright? I've said, I've told this story like about a couple of times in my life. But to, to tell it to people on stream, to reminisce about that time in the 90s, that's something. Wiki wiki wow wow west. So Mr. Bond, what do you know about the theft of the golden eye? Uvamov still did. He's a traitor. I can't do these accents, I'm sorry. Nonsense Mr. Bond, General Uvamov is a hero of the Soviet Union. Perhaps he was once, but he has betrayed you now. The Soviet Union disbanded in 91, guys. Let it go. All lies, Mr. Bond, all lies! You will be executed along with that foolish girl. Natalia has nothing, has done nothing wrong. She knows, no, fuck, fuck. There go, like I said, there goes my narrating career. Oh, fuck, what are you coming? What are you gonna do with that big gun, big boy? Hmm. <laughs> Ha! Let's bitch slap everybody in the fucking place. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they call me the Baron, Baron the bitch slapper. Mm. Mm. Fuck. I bitch slapped everybody. I'm gonna bitch slap everybody in this entire fucking map. Let's go! Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Ah! Uh, wow. You're intimidated by my bitch slapping. My bitch slapping. My bitch slapping. <laughs> I'm fucking actually doing it, guys. How long can I last? I don't know. Oh my fucking goodness. Oh, you can fucking play hopscotch. Give me that fucking gun. Bitch slapping Baron. Pimp slap that motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. I'm pimp slapping motherfuckers back to the millennium. 1999, bitch. Real talk, true pimp. Bitch slap that bitch. Fuck out of here, pimp smack. Real motherfucking J's. Bitch slapping Barry, oh shit. <laughs> I'm doing it. Guys, I'm actually fucking doing it. I'm oh shit. CQC. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yo guys. How long can I hold out? Bitch slapping Baron. Get beat. Get B slapped by Baron. 
<laughs> oh yeah, your dual clubs can't do shit to me. I'm bitch slapping Baron. I got a fucking kung fu grip. They're gonna make fucking action figures of me. With bitch slapping action. That's right. I must bitch slap the fuck out of Tickle Me Elmo in the next Black Friday sales. Yes. Come on. Go girl. That's why my ex-girlfriend got with me, cause you know the way I slapped that ass. I'ma save this girl. I Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Natalia, come on. She's like, did you just fucking bitch slap your way across the fucking room? Like, what? Yo, come on, Natalia, we gotta go. I'm on a fucking road. I don't want to die here. But I will die here if you don't fucking cooperate. You want these hands? You want these fucking hands? I'll give you these hands in the bedroom. Let's do this shit. Bitch slapping Baron right now. Oh shit. Let me see. Can I break? Nah, I can't break this, but I have to. That's the only way I could escape. Oh! <laughs> Bitch slapping Baron is on the case. Yo! You see that? No weapons. It appears you were correct, Mr. Bitch Slap. They call me Baron of Bitch Slapping. That should be my new name. And tickle Me Elmo, because fuck Tickle Me Elmo. It's all about the Bitch Slapping Baron action figure. It's, just, it's gonna be in stores this fucking, this fucking holiday season. You don't even understand about that, bruh. I will bitch slap you too if you don't get out of my face. But I'll fail the mission. It will just compromise everything. Come on. The adventures of the, the fucking... I know the sacred art of the beast slap. Oh shit. CQC. Mm, right there. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Are you serious? Yo. You guys just... What the fuck? I just bitch slapped my way across the level and I actually completed it on double A double O agent. The hardest difficulty and I did it with just my hands. This is incredible. Like I've never done this before. I wasn't even planning to, to, to survive that long, but what the fuck? What are you running on? I'm using the 1964 emulator Deus Fox. And welcome to my stream, by the way. I appreciate you joining. I hope, um, if you've been lurking, I hope you've been finding this entertaining. You know, I'm not... I'm not an, a pro gamer of any sort. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not anything like that. I'm running this off the 1964 emulator. It's been tailor-made, I guess, or custom-made for GoldenEye. I got this from a well-known GoldenEye YouTuber by the name of Grassloot00. I'm subscribed to him and he's very good at this game and he does a lot with this game and that's how I got the emulator from him. I'm just dropping pre presentation tips on retro st streamers. Let's see how you got it set up when you start the next level. What are you talking about? How I got it set up? I, I don't understand sir. If you could explain please. Now do a full run through of game like that call it only hands run through that is that is perfect that that is really perfect the best time is 4 30 but the target time is 1 20. The, the saint petersburg streets i can't tell you until you start a level if you need a tip or not the bitcoin these hands version Maybe, you know, the thing is that certain, certain areas in this game, you need to use guns, so, like, if I was to play on the train, I'm gonna need to use a gun, you know, like, if I'm gonna play on the, the, the last level, I'm gonna need to use guns, so I can't really do a full playthrough with just the hands, I don't think I can, I'm not skilled enough to do that, I'm not Grassloot00, that guy, 
Although I did beat this game using the taser only and I recorded it, but that's lost time and Grassloop recently did that. So I'm proud of him for doing that. But anyways guys, that, that was pretty epic though, can't lie. The title for the stream confirmed, Baron is, Baron of Anarchy is the bitch slap Baron. Alright, I bitch slapped my way across time for you Sarah. I like the version that you played yesterday, Rick Rolli. Um, let me catch up with these. These hands version, hands on with golden eye. That's what's up, Eternal. I, all right, so let me just begin. Like I said, um, Deus Fox, I'm not an expert gamer. I'm just a variety streamer, but I just like to have fun and try to be genuinely entertaining. Uh, and if you want, if you guys want me to bitch slap my way across the streets of, uh, the streets of, what you call it. And I'm using mouse and keyboard, by the way. Oh, shit. So, this is nothing special. Oh, uh, no, I'm not fucking around with you guys. You guys are fucking slipping. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking make it. Yep, you need a tip, I got you. Alright, so what? what is your tip, good sir? I wanna see an IRL Baron bitch slapping his way across NYC. I mean... What, what, what is the tip that you have for me, um... Deus Fox, uh, I would like to know. I mean, I, I surely could use it, utilize it. Hopefully. The bitch slap king of New York City! Golden Eye Master! Baron of Anarchy, aka Neon Kennedy, aka R1 a massacre, aka Little Virgin Fuck, aka the fucking mm, ass slapping team. Oh, fuck it. Pause the watch screen and then I'll continue. Okay. Fox is foe, not Fox. I'm I'm reading it like Fox, like Guy Fox. Go to the settings menu, alright? I mean, this is the settings, right? Or this? The controller or this? Fox is French for fake. Yes. Change it to 6-9, okay. The ratio. At the bottom. I mean, is this right? Now, back the way out. Like this? Oh, I, I see what you mean. Oh, okay. So basically, you improve the... You improve the aspect ratio and it is like... I get a, a better field of view. Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody give it up for Deus Fox. Deus Fo or Fox, how do you pronounce it? I don't I hate getting people's names wrong. Yo, this is just fucking spectacular. Oh fuck. Nah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck it. Ah right. Let me do this again. Yeah, I mean it's a simple change in the aspect ratio. So, but it's like it gives you a better field of view, so that's that's just the point of it. Now, can I do the... Can I bitch slap my way across the streets of St. Petersburg? In St. Petersburg, the streets are... Nah, I'm not gonna bother. That's a one-time deal. I'm not gonna bitch... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother. I just wanna beat this game. I like this game. Fuck. Oh, you can move too? Uh, let me do this again. I ain't. You know what? I try to be like. I'm not. I, I don't try to be a dick so much. Like, like I said on my rules, like backseat gaming to an extent is allowed. So if it's conducive, then I'll, I'll be more than happy to 
to to take advice so so long it's not like criticizing heavily or like you know just being like rude about it so i i don't have a problem with that i i don't have an ego when it comes to this you know this is all for fun so and that's what my streams are about having fun and if there's ways that you can make it better for me then shit that's what's up What's up, Valentin? I think you're approaching your tips wrong and that's why they're stubborn. Ah, uh, maybe so. Lots of ignorance out there. I just offer tips, take it or leave it. This guy, good. Well, you know what? I, You know what? I don't... I guess like some streamers, they, they put a lot of pressure on themselves to play the game good and then they feel like if they don't, if they receive any sort of assistance, then it's just, um, it just makes them look incompetent. And I'll be the first person to tell you that I'm not a pro. And if there's any ways that you, anything that you could offer to help me better, because sometimes I do get stuck in games, I, I welcome it. What the fuck was that? Yo, you got the fucking grenade launcher and you shot between my legs. What the fuck is wrong with you, bruh? The fuck is wrong with you, bruh? Yo, but you guys witnessed it. I bitch slapped my way across the library. I wish I was good at headshots, but... Oh, fuck! I really like that rocket launcher sound. I really love it. It's so satisfying. Fuck you. I uh, have a grenade. I think I'm going the right way, am I? I hope so. Yeah, there's a guy there. Nice. Now I'm going the wrong way. No war on China. Oh, gonna play this mission the hard way. Welcome to my stream, No War on China. I hope, uh, I don't wish war on any country. And I hope you're doing good and I'm glad that you found my stream. I hope everything is good on your end. And yeah. Oh, don't go here. Oh, yo, he's gonna kill himself. That guy's gonna run into the minefield. What the fuck? But thank you for joining me in no war on China. Stick by me. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. I apologize if I'm not reading the, the, the comments right now, but I'm just really... Oh, fuck. I just... Alright, good. There we go. Did it. Alright, good shit, good shit. Alright, let me catch up with these um, comments. Now, play plenty straight up denied things are stretched or think GoldenEye doesn't have a widescreen even. Well, those guys are ignorant. They're, they're pretty much... Eh. It's technical stuff the average person doesn't know, and sometimes they have an ego. They have ego get in the way of 100% improvements. This guy gets it. I mean, hey, if you got some useful tips, I'm open to them. So, yeah. Dropping tip presentations, tips live. <laughs> You're gonna play the mission the hard way. 
It was a good tip. I'm just saying it was hard to read if you were being an ass or not at first. Glad you helped Baron out. You know what? And I'm not gonna fault Nordy for for thinking that because I've seen I've seen it on streams recently that sometimes people will come into the to the streams, not on my streams, but on other people's streams. And then they would the way they would go out go about um giving tips it seems kind of like demanding and then when people don't when people are not really receptive to the tips that they give they get offended about it and that's not the way to approach it but um Nordy's right and you know to an extent it's, it's right sometimes it's the approach so I took it as you know like whatever but like some people might take it the other way around so but either way, thank you for, for the useful tip, Deus Fox. I appreciate it. Well done. Thank you, No War on China. And I'm glad I had people watching me. I, I appreciate it very much. We're in the disused military depot in St. Petersburg, Russia. Let's do this. <clears throat> Now sometimes I just forget where where the where the where the objectives are. I just really forget. It gets kind of confusing. I know there's like in one of these huts or like these I don't know what, what would you call it. There's a body armor somewhere but like I'm not gonna even go searching for it. Take that Cal Kitas approach. I can help you. Will you let me? Yeah, that that's pretty much the best way. Like, you know, if you ever wanna give tips to someone, you just tell them like, you know what? I have something that may help you. I, I may have some tips for you. And I'm willing to share them with you if you're willing to um to listen if like you know if it's not a pain. So that, that way that there's no excuse for them to be dickheads to you. Like, you just dis like diffuse the entire situation. But like, say if I was a, a streamer like Wings of Redemption, I'll probably like, probably would have banned you if I was Wings of Redemption. But that guy is kind of an asshole to everybody, so. Let me close this shutter, they don't come in for some reason. What what is going on here? What is going on here? Wings of Redemption. Yeah. Look here. Look. Listen. Let me put that shit on. I got you right now. I got you right now, BJ. Look here. Look, listen. Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. I'm gonna be real, like a part of me enjoys like watching Wings of Redemption for some reason. I don't know, I think <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It's kind of fucking weird. All right, I need the... Yeah, I need this. I need these. Why is those boxes in the shape of a question mark? Like, what is like the question mark from Mario? Some shit? Oh, shit. I hurt. I hurt me in the cell. I bet there's like a whole bunch of guys out there. Yeah, they're pissed off. Get the fuck out of my way. Holy shit. sounds like an asshole. I mean, 
he's a streamer that's been streaming for for the better part of 15 years and he's basically like a low cow because um you know there's a there's a huge down the rabbit hole documentary about him and to this day he gets trolled really badly he's been known to be an asshole yeah but it, it's not that bad anymore i mean but still the internet never forgets this, this is not the way Is this the way? Did you show me the way? I don't know if this is the way, man. Fuck! No, this is not the way. I forgot where the last... The, there's this specific place with the computer that I gotta... I gotta blow it up. Is it right here? I hate doing this. Bitcoin Baron. Definitely like two hour video of going down his entire career. Yep. That that's that's the video that I'm talking about, down the rabbit hole. This guy has an entire community that makes troll videos about him every stream, just chopping up his streams. And some of these people get money off of doing that. He has entire Discord servers just dedicated to making his life a, a living hell. Which I don't think that he deserves it anymore. Personally me. I think he just paid his debt, but like, he's always going to remain in that state. And I'm still trying to find that last container. That's not it. I think it was here. Oh yeah, it's here. Do I got a rocket? Yeah, one one last rocket. I gotta shoot that um automated turret. Alright, good job. Alright, good shit. Do I got like an entire surprise party waiting for me outside? What the fuck? Why do I prefer using the PP7? I guess to me it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, I, I just like using it. I guess it's because ever since I saw like the Grassloo videos and the name, um, he's a YouTuber who deals a lot with GoldenEye, with the modding community. You know, he's really good at the game, he's really good at GoldenEye Source. I guess because when I started watching his videos, he'd just run through the levels just using the pistol, the PP7 only. Like, really, really good, like, rarely getting hit. And that kind of, to me, that was really, to me, I don't know why, but it was just really satisfying. So, I guess I kind of took that from him. Despite the fact that I'm not good at headshotting at all. But you know, I think it's just satisfying to me personally to use the PP7. Alright. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking the same way. Plus, my health was down, so I could have probably taken a good amount of damage before, you know, I could be able to, like, walk away from it. Oh, shit. I was trying to get away, but 
unfortunately that didn't work to my you know favor now I'm gonna save these rockets I'll use the little proximity mines I could use the proximity mines because if you keep um if you keep using them there's only a specific limit that you're that you're allowed to use so if you cluster them in one area they just explode all right So I did that and um, there's another, I, maybe if I go down there, all right, so I don't have to just be running around with like a chicken with my head cut off and that's not the way, I know that's not the way, oh shit! I think it was this way. Yeah, it was this way. Stray grenade. How's everybody doing today? I hope I'm being somewhat entertaining. <laughs> you know, I know there was like a lot of craziness with me. Oh, shit. Nope. You good? No war in China. No war anywhere. Thank you for joining my stream. I hope you tune into my other streams at some point. Whenever you can. I appreciate it. And that's what I missed. I needed that safe key. So yeah, I think it was like a little paramount that I had the safe key. So, alright, I'm headed the right way, I believe. There's no such thing as a map. Alright, I'm headed the right way. Good. Good shit. How you doing? Got the blueprints. Fucking chat as fuck. Look at that. You having a nice time? Thank you, Bitcoin Baron. You know what? Thank you for joining me, by the way. Thank you, No War in China, and to the new people. No War in China. I think, what was his name? Des Fox. I hope I'm saying it right. And the Golden Ace. Thank, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. The converted missile train. Headed to the east. All right, let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, like the train is pretty hard and because the whole hostage situation, I don't really like it. You must be getting close to affiliate. On. I mean, I think I am already affiliated, but I just haven't filed the paperwork. Like, cause it's like, my thing with the ads is like, I rarely get people watching, so. 
at best the most I would get it would be like five people watching me at, at once if I'm lucky. But right now I got eight people. So I'm kinda happy about that. Fuck, these guys are fucking elites. Just chilling now. We like the Bayron, Bayron stream, Bayron. Like the Bayron streams, BJ Blaskovich Gaming. Thank you, BJ, for joining me. I know you've been having a rough week, dude. And I hope like this has been like helping you a little bit. You know, go through that shit. You know, to to like at least move forward with all the. Oh, you what the fuck? Yo, you forgot to fucking flush, you disgusting piece of crap. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just chilling now, having a good one with <laughs> the father of genealogy. <laughs> Yo, fucking Eternal Arcade is literally the goat. The Rice King, man. The king of all rice. Whether it be jasmine, brown rice, parboil rice, he's the king of rice, the rice king. I knew you guys, what, what were you guys doing there, the two of you locked in that small room, huh? What the hell were you guys doing in there? You can turn the ads down to a minimum setting, which makes it just like if you weren't affiliate, I believe. Week? Last several months. What are you talking about, BJ? I mean, Nordy just told me that, actually, yes, la like, um, when he, he told me that last night on my stream. So, I'm, I'm about to, uh, look into that even more so. You must sacrifice the water to receive rice. Yes, you must sacrifice the water to receive rice. Like in that movie, Mac Mad Max Fury Road, and Morton Joe says, Do not, my friends, become addicted to water, for you will... What was it? For you will loathe its absence. The city is the salt must flow, yeah. The spice must flow. Nordisius, I think you always have a short ad at the beginning, but I don't have any ads that play on my stream besides that. I've went on your streams and I've had to like I've had to deal with ads before, but not like that. But I've dealt with ads before on your stream, Nordisius. And so and BJ's as well. No war in China says the silliest thing I ever see. When it comes to gamers is when you have someone playing a game that's clearly rated M for mature and yet they won't even cuss. Even if when their dialogue that says shit, they censor themselves. It makes no absolute sense. War on, no war in China. It really makes no sense to me either. Because it's like... I mean, I, I would expect like violence, like like graphic violence to be something that people would censor. But then they censor the curse words because it's the logic. Yo, this guy, he's like from the hood or some shit. Break yourself, fool. No cap, bear, no cap. I have the ad setting on my stream as low as possible and tell people to install ad blockers. <laughs> That, that's the thing, um, I do have an ad block on my, um, and I'm not afraid to admit it, I have ad block on my browser because it's like, if I watch YouTube, I don't want to watch ads, but ad block doesn't really work all the time. Alright guys, this is the part I hate the most. Yeah, this is what I had to do. I had to kill that bitch too, that fucking psycho bitch Zenia on the top. We killed General Uvamov and Xenia on the top. 
the cycle, bitch. I'm supposed to buy. Yo, do do your stuff, please, Natalia, please. I shot them both, but hey, you're supposed to um, you're supposed to shoot her as well because that would that would give you more time to complete the mission, and it's a must. If you miss shooting her, that's it. You have to start all over again because you don't have enough time to complete the missions. And the train will blow up quickly. Alright, he's in Cuba. Did I complete everything? I complete all the missions. Crack Boris's password. No matter what you do, Natalia won't complete the objectives until you have like 15 seconds. Ah, uh, no, because... Like, I'm playing on a double O agent, and that that has happened to me many times. I failed the mission. And cracking the password, you know, this is akin to the movie because she cracks the password in the last minute before they escape the, the train before it gets blown up. All right, she got it. It's time to go. Oh, shit, Natalia, what the fuck? Like yesterday, uh, I was playing a modified version of this and there was a glitch in the game and I couldn't beat this level so I just like fucking stopped. I hope she made it out. Yes, good. Good shit. Uh, the jungle. I hate the jungle because... Get used to Natalia getting in the way of your gunfire. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that in the jungle and the control. I hate the control. That that mission is like the longest. And no war in China. I've been playing this game since I was a child, so I I believe me, I know. Alright, I know I don't have enough bullets to, to be shooting with the PP7, so I'm gonna have to be collecting the assault rifle. See back in the days on a CRT TV I couldn't see far. This is like that infamous Nintendo 64 fog. So I'll, I would just get riddled every time I, I just walked and then like there'll be like a fucking auto turret. Never be in control on double A double O agent. I'm in my thirties now. So am I actually. You fuck Natalia, get him. Thank you. She got the Cougar Magnum. I've beaten Control, you know, I've beaten this game on double, double O Agent, uh, uh, you know, a couple of times. I hate Control so much because she does get in the way and then a lot of people come after you. And like, that mission is long so if you fuck up, you gotta start all over from the get go. Oh my god, Natalia. Standing right in front of me. <laughs> Yo, I like the way she just deals with that fucking Cougar Magnum. How many of you people played this game growing up by the show of, uh, I guess, Virtual Hands? Who played, who, who here had a Nintendo 64? Who here played GoldenEye back in the good old days? Like me, like yours truly. I still have mine too, No War in China. I still have my Nintendo 64. I still have Goldeneye. I got that Nintendo 64 for my birthday. My father bought it for me. I got, it was the Jungle Green um, Donkey Kong 64 one. It came with Donkey Kong 64 in the expansion pack. Oh, hey, little lady. My dog just came in. Now I gotta fight Xenia on the top. But let me just take this machine gun out. Yeah, she's around here somewhere, this crazy bitch. Ah! Ah! Yeah, kill her. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
That's what's up. Like, I let Natalia do all the dirty work. And there's a machine gun turret. Yeah, right here. Get the f- Don't run to me. Alright, still... I'm, I gotta stockpile on the assault rifles. Because this part, like, the part where you gotta get to the elevator is kinda tricky. And I'm not gonna lie, I get fucked up a lot. The big, never had an N64, I did have the SNES way back as a kid. I could've bitten the big one right now. Alright, he's gonna do- OH SHIT! Fuck. That grenade did me in. It took half of my armor. I never... Like, you want to know something funny? Bitcoin Baron. I didn't know how SNES looked like until I got the internet. And I got the internet at 17. I've seen the, NES, uh, the, the regular NES. You know, my cousins had it. I had the Sega Genesis. But I've never seen the SNES in person until like later on in life way later around the the seventh generation of consoles fuck Natalia don't fuck around here Natalia, do not go there. Natalia, don't. Oh my god, you crazy lady. I thought I was I thought she was going to die, man. Seriously. I used to die here a lot because they just kept crawling out and then sometimes I couldn't see them. Alright, did that. Good shit. Good shit. Alright. Let me see. Eternal Arcade says my first console was the PlayStation. I played PC before that. Well, my, my first console, my father had the Sega Master System. And then we got the Sega Genesis, like, right when... Like, like right, I guess, in the beginning years of when the PS1 and the Nintendo 64 and Sega Saturn were out. That's when I got the Genesis. And then I got the Nintendo 64 in the last two years of its life. And then in 2013... Um, 2013... 2003... That's when I got the PS2, and ever since then, I've been with the generation. And I had the PS3. I, I love the PS3. I like the, the chat and all that shit. The thing is, is that after the PS3, I became a, a solely PC gamer out of convenience. And I've been a PC gamer for about 12 years now, mostly PC. I did play console as well, but now I'm strictly PC. But I do have a Nintendo Switch. But I haven't really played with it since last year. Because now I got the Steam Deck, so there's no fucking point. Alright, Bitcoin Baron was the Philips video pack in the mid-80s. Damn. I've never heard of that console. I know Philips came with... Um, Philips made the CDI, which was like a really crappy, expensive console. And then they had like a Mario and Zelda game on it. That's all I. That's all I know about Philips consoles. I didn't even think they had anything before that.
You know what? Like, when I was a kid, when I played the control the first time, as soon as I walked out of that elevator, I got messed up. I got just shot up. Like, like, I was like, what? 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 What's going on? People don't understand. The 90s was like a different beast in gaming, man. They didn't hold your hand. You, they, they gave you the instruction booklet and they said, you better know this shit. And then they pretty much threw you into the game expecting you to know everything. They do a lot of hand holding today. You know, they'd be like a tutorial. The mandatory tutorial. Yo, that clip is like the extended bag on that fucking... He, got, he has the extended mag perk. Alright, Natalia, do your shit. Video pack was like one of those game consoles you would sometimes see in 80s movies. Alright. I never... I never seen those, actually. Do I gotta... What else do I have to kill? Oh, I have to... Oh. I gotta clean up. I gotta let my dog out. See you later. Nordisius, you're saying your first console was a tractor on a farm when I was four years old, you lazy millennials. Wait a minute, you grew up on a farm? Yo, that is fucking cool, Nordy, I didn't know that. Oh, he's joking, oh, okay. Alright. Nordy, you always fucking with me, you know that? You like the fucking, you're a troll, dude. I actually believed it, just like I believed when you told me Sneaky Fruits was Jewish. Just like when you told me you were six foot three. And you like fucking with me, right? You like... You like tricking Baron because you think I'm gullible, right? <laughs> nah, seriously, Nordy, what was your first console? In all seriousness. Oh shit. Yeah, Nordy does a lot of shit. Yo, put that grenade down. Fuck. I should just take out. BJ Blaskovich Gaming says that his first console was the Atari 2600. Legendary. What games did you have for the Atari 2600? Oh, shit. Did you have E.T.? That's like one of the best games on the Atari. That was a best seller, by the way. Roz says mine's was the Wii. Of course yours was the Wii. Ross is probably maybe like the youngest person here, I guess. The Wii. What games did you have for the Wii, Ross? I know I bought the Wii, but just just to get it hacked. And I would rarely play the Wii. Like The, the game I would play would be like House of the Dead. Because I used to love House of the Dead when I was a kid. Like, But this time I didn't have to spend quarters and beg my mom for it. Eh, fuck you, Boris, you piece of shit. I am invincible! No, you're not, bitch. Fuck. Yo, these guys don't fucking stop, man. Fuck! Hail Mary!
All right, let me. So BJ's first games was Pitfall, Enduro, ET, Missile Command, etc., 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 etc. No War in China was Black Knight. I mean, Invincible King Arthur. You're a loony. Damn right. <laughs> I try. Wii Sports. Ross says Wii Sports and Resort. Wii Fit was my fave as a little kid. Can't remember the rest, but there was one on horseback riding game I liked. What well, was it? Can I ask you a question, Roz? Was the name of it Unicorn Princess? Because that's, that is such a wonderful title. BJ could tell you it for days how wonderful that that game is. Right, BJ? The Black Knight always triumphs. Fuck. <laughs> no, it wasn't Unicorn Princess. Ah, oh, she caught me. It wasn't Unicorn Princess. All right. Your mom. <laughs> hey. My mom is a very nice lady. Okay? I don't appreciate that, BJ. Yeah, BJ. BJ! Yeah, Ro tell him, Ross. Tell him. Just tell him. Set him straight, Roz. Get up and teach him a lesson. He makes fun of me. All because he cannot overcome his in the closet denial that he loves Unicorn Princess, the video game. And there's nothing wrong with the game. But BJ is just in total denial. I don't know, man. We need to get you out of that state of mind. Let yourself free. Come out of that unicorn closet, man. Alright. Again, your mom. Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to help you out, you ungrateful butthole. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, man. Alright, so I put... I put the mines on that. So now... Did I do it to both... You know, those computers. Till I find a righteous one. Computer blue. Alright, I got the mines here. Alright, cool. Now I gotta let Natalia in and I gotta do this stupid thing. Or I gotta watch her back. Hey, come on, Natalia. I'm coming, James. That's what she said. Never speak of that game again and... You'll help me plenty. What? I don't understand what is the big deal. I mean, it's a nice game. You know, it may not be a masterpiece, but it's a very wholesome game. What do you got? What do you have against wholesomeness, BJ? I played that game yesterday, and then my nephew was here, and he was like, "Come on, BJ. Come on, BJ. Oh shit! Too many, too much fucking lollygagging. This is what I fucking hate. This part." I just need some bullets. You named a fucking horse after me! <laughs> BJ, it was in honor of you, okay, dude? It was in honor of you, alright? I don't, I don't see the point of you really getting really wound up about it. You don't gotta get freaking excited about it, BJ. I mean, it's not a, it's, it's not a bad game. Fuck! Yo, Natalia's gonna fucking die, I swear. I don't want to do this mission again. You guys gotta be nice. Fuck, what the? 
Where the hell are you coming from, you jackass, man? Now I gotta stand in front of this chick, man? No, because I'm taking the fucking heat. Yo, hurry the fuck up, Natalia, please. I can't do this forever, lady. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, is she done? Please tell me she's done. Fuck. Alright, she's done. Now all I have to do is survive. But there's like a, an entire onslaught of enemies that are just gonna keep coming. So I gotta, I gotta be careful and be quick at the same time. So this is kind of nerve-wracking for your boy. Will he make it? We don't know, but I'm probably gonna have to start all over again. I can't bitch slap my way out of this one, ladies and gentlemen. I have to stay laser focused. You cannot bitch slap your way out of this one, Sabaron. Fuck. Ha. Fuck! This guy fucking scared me. Ah. Fuck me in the asshole! Fuck! No more fucking... No rest for the fucking living! Alright, come on, come on. We gotta survive. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love. BJ knows I can stay alive. He loves that unicorn princess. And he's acting like it's the equivalent of incest. And it's not, because it's a beautiful game. BJ. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> Damn. Now I gotta do that all over again. Alright, we got that. Alright, let me see if I could do this quickly. Yeah, that's what I get for fucking with BJ. He put the curse of the BJ on me. <laughs> he put that curse on me, man. That's what I get for messing with BJ, man. I, I can't do that ever again, man. All right, let let's let's be nice to BJ. Maybe I'll make it this time. If I be nice to BJ, I stop messing with him. I hope I could, you know, persevere through this. But with Gene, in Gene, I trust. Okay, everything's clear. BJ, everything he hears is Unicorn Princess. <laughs> He's like, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, BJ got his revenge. He's cackling. BJ, everything he hears is Unicorn Princess. Yeah, everybody. Nah, nah, you know what? That's what you get when you let your heart win. Yo, don't fuck with me with that song. I love Paramore. No, sir. Well, I refuse to be the blame. Not anymore. It's your turn. Now have a seat. We're settling the final score. And why do we like to hurt so much? Can't decide. You have made it harder just to go on. And why hide all the possibilities? I'm sure you heard. Damn. 
That's what you get when you let your fucking DJ win. Oh, uh, 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 fuck me. Oh, uh, fuck, man. Why would you think about anything else? <laughs> Roz, everything you think about is... You know, you know, I'm not... We're clearly trying to rush. It don't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, they don't like my shitty... My shitty singing. I want Haley Williams and Paramore to come kill me, please. I want her to fucking kill me. I don't know, man. That, that's just... Kill me for desecrating that wonderful song that I used to love listening to back in the good old days. Let me see. I like me some Paramore. Let me see. Don't get me started on Paramore because I fucking love that band. I'm I'm not afraid to admit it, man. I'm a para whore. Because Unipro Unicorn Princess is gee. No, BJ, I think you're just looking too in-depth into that game, but that game is not gee. Okay, that game is totally hetero and totally manly. Alright, you need to get past this whole block of, you know, what is gee and not, because Unicorn Princess gets the certified manly approvalness of approval. Let me see. Say the president of the unicorn princess. <laughs> Yo, Roz is really getting into that. I'm not making fun of you anymore, BJ. I learned my lesson. If I do that on stream, I die. I, I don't want to die anymore, so I, I, I stopped fucking with you a, like a while ago. But Roz is really cutting into you. Damn, Roz got it. She's going in. <clears throat> She's going in. What a dumbass. Oh shit! I'm not the president of anything. You <laughs> dumbass hell, no it doesn't. You have to give blood to free yourself from BJ's curse. Damn. So I have to... Alright. I guess I have to self-mutilate. I have to flagellate myself like this was the, the time of the Black Plague. You know, I have to go into the streets and flagellate myself to, to, um, to get BJ's forgiveness and to lift the curse. <laughs> the B you are BJ, Uno reverse card, donate blood to the blood bank. I mean, I am a registered, um, I'm registered in the blood bank of New York City. I'm a registered bone marrow donor. I don't like to, um, I don't, I don't really talk about it, but, um, I am registered to there, so. Like, when they need me, I go. You know, if they need bone marrow, I go, so. I have yet to be called, but if somebody needs bone marrow and I match with them, I'm gonna go. Do I got a grenade? Oh, shit! You gotta look at your fucking ugly mug. Fuck. How did I fucking trigger the other one? Is it triggered? Alright, good. Close this fucking door. Fuck! Shit! Why? Why, man?
All right. I barely have any health to fucking sustain me. That, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And stop being a little shit. Hey, don't talk like that to Roz. Roz is an... Oh, fuck me. Roz is a nice lady. All right. I will not have you talk like that to her. All right, BJ? Darn it. Gotta go walk the dog and laundry and shit. Thank, well, thank you for coming by. Say hello to Nordy for us. Nordisius and his dog Nordy. Walk the walk the frog. Walk the frog, really, BJ? Come on. Nordy is not a frog. He's a sweet puppers. Yeah, Nordy is a sweet puppers, man. BJ. I understand that you don't like the unicorn princess, that's okay, but you don't have to take it out on other people, alright buddy? We're all friends, we're all here to have a nice time, we all want to watch some golden eye. And nobody wants to have a bad time, DJ Blaskovich Gaming. I want Nordisius to walk an actual frog. Yeah, yeah, like Bitcoin Baron says, you tell him. We're all unicorn princesses, one way or another. You have to embrace your, your inner unicorn princess, BJ. All right, let's do this. I like the way it went on beat. Yeah, can you hurry it up, Natalia Semenova? Maybe in hindsight I shouldn't have done that. Because I need fucking ammunition. I don't need ammunition, I just... I need fucking ammunition. I need ammunition that... That has sex. That fucks. I need fucking ammunition. Alright, come on. I don't need to hear this mumble jumble. Just hurry the fuck up, Natalia. Oh! Yo, who just shot me? Like, oh, this, what the fuck? Guy's like a fucking... What kind of fucking spirit dimension are you from, dude, that you could try to face through the fucking glass? Natalia, hurry the hell up, lady. Oh, fuck, man. All right, get out of here, get out of here. Just go, go, go. Fuck. Go, get upstairs, lady. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> That's perfect. stockpiling these guns and I'm gonna go right now because I don't want to stick around here coming out with that fucking welcome wagon now you can keep your fucking welcome wagon oh Dwayne fuck who's breaking glass what the fuck is going on fuck Oh, 
Are you fucking kidding me? I I I think I missed one. I missed the computer. Can I blow it up manually? Fuck me. Do I got a grenade? Something. Explosive. Does anybody have a grenade? Do you have a grenade, good sir? Oh, fuck me. Now I gotta go look for a fucking grenade or some shit because I missed one. And I- Oh, give me that fucking grenade! Thank you! Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Thank you, good sir. You are a gentleman. You are a scholar. Most importantly, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. This better fucking work. Yes, I'm invincible! Fuck! That was- that was fucking good. That was fucking good. Like, I didn't have any mines left and then that guy- I was like, I need a fucking grenade, man. And that guy just pulled one out of his fucking ass. And he saved my- he saved the fucking- that guy will always be remembered as an epic legend, man. The fucking legend, he came through. He came through. For Grandpa Baron, man. Shit! Fuck! Shit, what the f- This is Alec Trevelyan. Oh, fuck yeah. Clutched. Alright. Alright, let me read the... Come on, come on, stop it. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> Layla. Alright. Yeah, y'all had my ex doing that shit too. Wasn't funny then, not funny now. Y'all need help. Has what, Baron? I don't know. I, I, I wasn't reading. I was just too focused on completing this mission. I hate this mission. With T-1000? Who's the T-1000? Robert Patrick? No war in China. As soon as I saw you impulsively waste two mines on one mainframe, my heart sank. And you know what? I knew that, but I just continued forward because I thought like, all right, I could spare one mine. I did that accidentally. And then when I just detonated all the, the you know, the mainframes, I was just like, fuck that one last one. And I thought I had to restart the entire mission. I was like, all right, I need to find a grenade. Boom, a guy takes his grenade out, and then I just kill him, take the grenade, and I throw it. Save the mission for me. That was fucking... This, this stream has been epic. Now this is, um, the caverns. We're almost done with this game, guys. I have, like, one more level, and then I'm done with the game. Mr. Blue Beret. This guy's like fucking... Yo, I always thought that these like doors were like fucking weird. Like some alien type shit. I used to like shooting the lights too. Like this. I don't know why, but that was so fucking satisfying as a kid. Look, look, he's just taking those bullets so stoically, yo. I'm impressed, man. Top of the line, special forces, asshole. It's so fucking wonderful, so exciting. Oh my god, fuck. Oh, let me take that AR-33. What? 
Get the hell out of here! Get out of here. Get out of here! Oh, what the fuck? You want to sidestep with me, man? Yeah, put your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Don't run into that place, please. I have to do this for your own good. You have, like, a bunch of, uh... What are you shooting at me? What are you shooting at? Get the fuck out of here! I got four viewers, damn, people dropped off, damn. I was hoping that I still have the same amount of views that I had before, but yeah. But either way, it's been a cool stream, you know, like we, <laughs> we had some fucking moments. Okay. I want them to come pouring out. Oh boy. Oh! Is that one guy that likes to stay alive after getting like headshotted like five times? Shit. I'm doing decently, alright. Don't fucking break my vibe, bruh. What game I'm gonna be playing next? Um, I'm not sure because usually I... I should have like a catalog of games that I come up with that, that I would like... You know, that I should be playing. And unfortunately, I, I do not have one at the moment. But I have to do that, so I'll see what's next. What the fuck is going on here? He just waits there like all stoically. I, you know what, I should really come up with a list of games that I would like to play. Thing is, is that, um, I have a lot of games, but I got, I, it, it usually just hits me, like, wh whatever hits me. I know that I still have to finish Doom 3. Because I already finished Resident Evil 4, but maybe I'll play it again for, you know, the other, you know, the extra content, like, like, Ada's story, I guess. I'm not totally sure. I know I'm planning on playing Dead Island Riptide. I already beat Dead Island, and Dead Island 2 is going to come at the end of this month, and I may get it depending on if the game is actually good. Because if it's not good, I'm not going to buy it. 
But I think that I could hold off on Dead Island 2 because I already bought Resident Evil 4 Remake. And I'm playing that, but it's there's no point for me to play a new game when everybody else and their mother's playing it. Like I was playing Resident Evil 4 Remake when I mean Resident Evil 4 the the original when the remake released last week, so then it's like it kinda balanced out a little bit to me. And at some point I'm gonna get through the remake. But just when the hype dies down because it's like that's I think that's the mistake I made with um Hogwarts Legacy is that I was playing it while everybody was playing it at the same time. And I didn't have a lot of people watching my stream. So un unfortunately that's what happened. I gotta take the what you call it. So yeah, um, let me see. All right, got the, the, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that here. We're not fucking doing that here. Who else is fucking shooting? What the hell is wrong with you, dude? Yo, come out here. I gotta talk to you. I gotta, got a nice fucking present for you. Like, you get the hell out of here because if you die, I get, I get penalized for it. Yo, can you like go please dude? Yeah, go, please leave. Look, I'll help you. Go. Just go. You two go home. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Go. Just leave. 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 Oh, yeah. The game will be oversaturated by others. That's why I never play new releases anymore. I'll play the new releases after the hype dies down like a month or two from now. Because I would really like to play them. But the problem is, like, they're oversaturated, like you said. And I found that out the hard way with Hogwarts Legacy. So that's why I, I stopped playing it. And I... What I'm gonna do is I do wanna play that game, but I can't say for certain if later down the line if I'm gonna wanna play it. Because I kinda wanna play it now. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing is like starting the game from fresh and doing like a let's play on it on one of my other channels. So that's most likely that's what's gonna happen. Oh damn, I'm slow, bruh. Bruh. I'm fucking slow. Gonna shoot all the turrets. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? Nice fucking glasses. Give me that shit. Okay, I hope this is safe. I'm just praying that it's safe. Oh, they're coming. Nicely done. There we go. I actually do like the cavern. Not a lot of people like it, but I really do enjoy the cavern. I hate control. I absolutely abhor it. Alright, so... Alright, 
the last objective, the antenna crater on Cuba. Let's do this shit. And yes, I've been stuck on this before. It's been hard as fuck. But um, I've completed it enough times to understand what I need to do. And see, back then when I used to play this on, um, on the CRT, it was kind of hard because you'd get shot from, from that distance. And at the time on a CRT TV, it was kind of hard to like really see further. And so like by the time I get up here, my health will be like to a minimum. So yeah. I like this song, but this song was like... Fuck, fuck! Yeah, I'm just gonna take the... The fucking Ingram out. Fuck you! I'm just taking this fucking body armor. That was atrocious. Everything is atrocious. You're atrocious. Fuck you. Would you go the fuck away, please? Good sir. Oh my god. Look, I, I know an easy way through this. I'll just keep going back and forth. I developed this strategy back when I was a child. I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it's what really helped me. Wow, why am I getting bopped around? Oh yeah, he, and he shits grenades too. Like, Alec Trevelyan, he shits grenades, 006. Oh, how you doing, buddy? Oh damn, let's do this shit. Now we're gonna do this shit right now, bah. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh fuck, yeah, boost me over there so I can... I'm coming for that ass, Trevelyan. Trevelyan, you sound like a fucking coffee brown. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. For England, no, James. No, for me. Beat the game. That's how you do it. That's the easiest way I could beat this level. By not really following him, but just meeting him halfway. Yeah, two... Oh, shit. I mean, I was right at the... Damn, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, I got the girl, man. I aspire to be like James Bond, man. Like a mover and shaker across the globe. Every woman that comes across me, whether she wants to help me or kill me, or I have to help her, I bet. That's a fucking life, man. I went to go see the last James Bond movie on No Time to Die in theaters, and it was a really good movie. I liked it a lot. That's something that you've never seen before in a James Bond flick. I, I enjoyed it. That's one end of an era, like the Daniel Craig era. I want to see who comes along. Like that, that has to be... I would like them to bring it back to like the classic take over the world. You know, hidden base in like a volcano type shit. With all these gadgets, these secret gadgets. Like, oh, this bottle of Poland Spring water is actually a bottle of fucking thermite in a liquefied form. And then you, you throw it at somebody and... You detonate it and it explodes into like a million, like like a little nuclear bomb type shit. I don't know. Okay, let me read with the comments. Oh yeah, all right. I'm charging my phone and keeping track of these storms, so I'm gonna be off for a bit. All right, BJ, thank you for coming. Bitcoin Barry. I sometimes look on websites that give tips on what to stream, like what games has the largest channels to watchers ratio at the time um you know what i think that'll be cool like i gotta look into that bitcoin baron but thank you thank you eternal thank you bitcoin baron there you go 
GoldenEye 007, I beat it in one sitting. And how long did it take me? I had to be like fucking three hours. Yeah, three hours and almost a half. This is one of my favorite games of all time since I was a child. I will not hesitate to play this game at all. And ever since I played like the Rick Rolli yesterday, which was a modified version of this game, I was just, the, the, the bug bit me again, so I had to play it today. Speed run when? <laughs> Never. In order for me to speed run this game, I have to play this game for like more than a hundred hours, look for every glitch, and I have to contend with an entire slew of speedrunners that did this game, and each year they're always breaking the record. So I'm never gonna do a speedrun of this game at all. <laughs> that's that's just too impossible for me. Compared to how long it took me to complete the whole this game, this was a speedrun. <laughs> How long did that stream last? Did that last for like more than one streams? Like, yeah, so I actually beat it and this is the extra level, but I don't really like playing them. How long did it take you to beat GoldenEye um, Eternal Arcade? It took you four weeks to beat Goldeneye. That's insanity. It took you four weeks. Four weeks. That's... Maybe that, that... You know what? I'm not gonna lie. Because when I was a kid, it took me years to beat this game. Because then I'll stop playing. Because I'll be stuck and I'll stop playing. And then I'll go back to- No, put that down! Put that down! Put that down! Fuck you. <laughs> four streams, three or four hours each. So, let, let's say, let's break it even. Four streams, four hours each. Let's round it off to an even. So then, four times four, that is about 16 hours, more or less. Face! Oh my god, I shot you twice in the face, buddy. Come on, dude. We gotta coax them out of there. Fuck! This is why uh, I don't like, um, I blame the frame rate. Now I know I could run it better though. I'm like, eternal, like, I, 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 I knew that that was gonna happen. I knew that you were not gonna get the best frame rate with just the standard emulator. So that's why I sent you that, so you could run it better. I was hoping that you would, you know, Heed my advice, but ah, I guess you didn't. But next time when you go through, and there's another game like this. Um, wow, this was just stupid. There's another game made by the same, you know, by Rare, by the people that made GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, right? Perfect Dark is another game made by the same people that made GoldenEye, and it plays exactly the same, and it's more polished. And you'd love that. And it, it plays in the same emulator, so it's going to be good frame rate, 60 FPS, and, you know, the textures are not going to look like muddy shit. Now, you have to forgive this for being like this, you know, like, in its original form and presentation, because, you know, this is a game from back in 1997, so... Are you playing hopscotch with me? 
the stubborn streamers. I mean, I'm not gonna lie because there's been times when I, when I just can't buy somebody streaming and then like I, I try to help them, they'll be stuck and they'll be like, I don't need your help. I'm just like, all right, fuck you then, bitch. You wanna be like a little bitch about it and, and like, I'm trying to help you like progress so you can keep your stream going and shit. Little fucking bitch. The stubborn streamers. <laughs> You're the stubborn streamer. I mean, you know what? It's all good, man. You had to learn. Fuck. I'm just gonna use the, the assault rifle. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> hey, I was just trying to go on the pause menu. What the fuck? Well, you know what? You need to go to bed and I need to get out of this game too because I've been playing. I beat the game in its entirety. And, you know, it's about time that I ate some dinner as well but i'm gonna chat with you people for a little bit because this is my favorite segment of the stream look here look here look listen yeah look listen appearing offline does not fucking stop it so stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about that's literally what happened to me that that's what that guy meant by stubborn streamer by by um <laughs> that's literally what happened But yeah, anyways, guys, how was that stream? This was the Golden Eye stream. How was that? How'd you like it? Did you guys enjoy it? And good night to Eternal Arcade. Thank you for sticking by me this whole time. I know it's really late at night in the UK, but thank you again. And I hope you get your rest as much as you can and have a good work day tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Eternal Arcade. Always a pleasure to have you, dude. And thank you for the Rice King um the, the narration of um, that passage that I wrote yesterday. Thank you very much. Tune in to Eternal Arcade, guys. Subscribe to him. If those who, of you who are not subscribed to um, or follow Eternal Arcade, follow him. He's going to be streaming tomorrow and, you know, he's he's awesome. Bitcoin Baron, the same thing. BJ Blaskovich Gaming. Nordisius. Who do we have here? Who else came in here? Those are the people that stream. And I thank you guys. Yeah, did enjoy. I'll probably be going to bed now as well. Very tired after all that walking today. Well, you were getting your steps in, dude. So that that's really good, man. You get healthy, man. Thank you for joining me, Bitcoin Baron. Now be sure to just stop by your stream. When, whenever you stream. When's the next time? Maybe tomorrow. But I appreciate you sticking by me, all of you. Fun stream, but sorry I had to lurk a bit today, but much love to all you. Take care. Oh, that's okay, Roz. The important thing is that you came by and you said, what's up? We had an epic stream. This was epic just like yesterday, but yesterday was more epic because of that April Fool's joke. But you know what? You guys deserve your stars because each and every one of you is a star. So thank you very much. Thank you kindly for sticking by me and putting up with this tomfoolery. Wow. Let's see what's going down in Discord world. The world of Discord. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. So this is what's going to happen, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. It was always a pleasure. You know, 
GoldenEye, one of my favorite games. And I'm going to be streaming again sometime this week. Hopefully tomorrow, most likely tomorrow for a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I wish I had a definite schedule to follow. Unfortunately, I don't. Because my life, my living situation is kind of like wonky now. You know what I mean? Hopefully things will get ironed out and I can be more consistent with things. Because that's what I want to do. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm gonna throw you on CJAG17. Because CJAG raided me yesterday and it was pretty cool. And I'm going to go eat. And I'm gonna go ready, get ready for work tomorrow, and I'm gonna work on some let's plays. Thank you for watching me. I'm Baron of Anarchy Ross. You're a legend. Bitcoin Baron, you're a legend. Eternal Arcade, legendary. BJ, legendary. Nordisius, and our new follower, the Golden Ace, legendary. All of you. Thank you and good night. Take care of yourselves and stay safe, guys. And I'll see you next time. I'm Baron of Anarchy, and I'm out. I love you all.